Yo, yes, yes, y'all. You know what it is. It's them kids and wives at 925s, but we are still married to the games. Episode 312. Or how your two-year-old counts. Oh. It's your boy Gabe Patillo oh. <laughs> with Tim Router, Ed Placencia, and Chris McCracken, of course. And as always, we are talking games and life. And child <laughs> life education. And, and games. <laughs> Thank you guys so much uh, for being here. That was good, oh, man. man. Well played. <laughs> well, we know uh, what you're up to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Edward. Yes. I got a text from you like an hour ago. Yes. Uh-oh. Have you been up all morning? No, I just I had just gotten up. Oh my gosh. Well, tell us about everything. Well, I got uh, last night apparently you were playing Overwatch. <laughs> <Yes>. That's right. <laughs> but I checked my phone an hour ago and the first message I saw was where are you at, Edward? And I was like, "Oh crap." <laughs> <laughs> oh no you thought it was from this morning yeah <laughs> oh, oh that's geez. hilarious wow oh that's funny but uh no i um uh, it's been a good week uh this weekend for labor day uh in our little town of auburn they have the auburn core duesenberg festival which is where uh all of the what i describe as dick tracy slash bonnie and clyde cars from back in the day come into town and oh, there's ah, a big parade nice. and they park all around the town square all weekend and people walk around and look at the cars and stuff and and uh so it was a nice weekend we walked downtown a few times and uh just kind of uh enjoyed the weather and the humidity and uh oh yeah mm-hmm. running into uh, there's high lots school of that. friends I know, right? Yeah, it was last year. Uh, we looked at pictures from last year, and I was wearing a hoodie and jeans, and I was like, "Oh, I wish it was that weather." Because <laughs> I know man, that's right, man. I'm ready for fall. I'm telling you that. Yes. Amen to that, brother. Um, but other than that, just a whole buttload of gaming. It's been nice. There you <laughs> um, go. Uh, that's how uh, it should be. It's how it should be. Uh, <laughs> a few. Uh, I guess it was a few weeks ago. I talked about the game Human Fall Flat. Uh, oh, which was right. kind of a, a sort of like a goat simulator, hard to control type of a game. And I didn't really enjoy it. It's like a physics and, game, right? Yeah, yeah. And they've introduced a co-op mode to the game. Oh, amazing. Ah, and there we go. it is amazing. It's Nice. Is it split screen or, or both on the same screen? Uh, same split time? screen. Um, ah, okay. Uh, with two people, or you can play online with, I think, up to eight people. Oh, wow. Wow. And hey, it, I'm going to say, I just downloaded that serious? game on the Game Pass, so uh, hit your yes. boy up. Yes, it is hilarious. It is nice. so much fun. Sarah and I actually beat the game this weekend. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then we had the Tapmans come over, and they played, and they were just laugh it's stacy and nathan were just laughing their heads off just it was so much fun oh my goodness it was a riot just watching each other walk around so i'm kind of glad i went back to it but it was a, a completely d- different experience playing it with right? someone else uh so wow. that was really really nice um of course got in some overwatch not last night, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, Gabe. <laughs> I know. I was so hyped. I was like, I can't believe I'm about to send this text out. <laughs> Overwatch question mark. <laughs> I know, right. <laughs> and then and then Jenny just happened, like on my way out to the shed, Jenny just happened to have like a real introspective moment and wanted to like wax poetic for a second. I was like, oh, oh. crap. <laughs> <laughs> How do I be fully in this conversation without looking at the door every three seconds? That's amazing. <laughs> That's so awesome, dude. And then in the background, Chris is texting me like, hey, is this text still good? Yeah, I can go right now. <laughs> and then like five minutes later, he's like, all right, hopping on. I'm like, oh, my gosh, my leg's like shaking while I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's, that's amazing, I'm like, I, no, I totally, I get, yeah, yeah. I mm-hmm. agree. Yes, we should uh, have another child, sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, no, no. <laughs> that's hilarious. I'll be in the shed forever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great, man. <laughs> that's awesome. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I've been caught with that too. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I was, uh-huh, I was uh-huh, so excited. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh sure. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That can sometimes be like 
the longest, even 45 seconds. And it seems like <laughs> that's it's right. forever. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might not even be there for four minutes extra. And you're like, whoo, hey, man, she was going. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, that's crazy. so funny. Oh, Chris, by the way, speaking of Overwatch, uh-huh. do you know why most Overwatch heroes have their original hair color? No. Because heroes never die. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back to that. Yeah, huh? That was a good one. I have to. I was. Did, did you come up with that? You didn't, right? No, of course oh, not. Man, that'd have been. If I'd have it'd have been funnier if I came up with it. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, the uh, I was going through TSA a couple days ago, and I have an Overwatch sticker on my laptop, and mm-hmm. obviously you have to take your laptop out and everything because for some reason TSA pre was closed, which mm-hmm. I didn't know was an option. And so I'm going through, and that's what the TSA agent said to me. He goes, hey, you want to hear a bad Overwatch joke? And I was like, of course. And that was the that was <laughs> the joke awesome. he told me. That that's is really cool. cool. I love yeah. that. Shout out to I'm, TSA. Did he, did he shout it like a, because heroes never die? Did he do it like No, that? he said it really oh. quiet. He's like, because heroes never die. I was like, ah. <laughs> it was more like that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty okay. Yeah, exactly. You're not going to frisk me, are you? No. That's all I'm really worried about. Right. Nice joke. You're not going to frisk never me, right? die. Now let's go into this room. <laughs> exactly. Right? right this way, sir. That's You've right. been randomly selected. Exactly. No, I haven't. <laughs> I, um, uh, sorry, Edward. Oh, no, no. You're fine. Uh, I have uh, Josh Stapleton to thank for... Uh, he was kind enough to... He had some uh, Microsoft... Uh, digital credit or something uh, like that left over and had gifted the <laughs> Sunset Overdrive DLC to me. Uh, oh, really? Nice. Cool. Yeah, it was really cool of him. And so I hopped into that. You're such a Twitch affiliate. He is a, an affiliate. If I, no, you are. <laughs> oh, I thought you said he is. <laughs> I feel like anytime I watch people that are affiliates, like it seems like people just give them stuff. Give them, yeah. Oh, I'm going to keep going then. <laughs> <laughs> and that was tough D- i haven't finished it it is tough dlc really? and it almost seems like the dlc was kind of an afterthought for them um when you hmm. get a new weapon you can like kind of view like here's what the weapon does and it has this over-the-top voice that's like oh it does this and does that and Probably 40% of the new weapons, they forgot to do a voice, so it's just like a montage with no sound at all. Hmm. And it's, What the heck? And there's what? a couple couple missions where it's like, okay, be sure and stay here when, when it happens or else it'll blow up. But you, you're not supposed to stay there, and it's just really weird. It was just kind of a confusing, confusing. DLC. Yeah. Hmm. Um. But it that was weird. Yeah, it was really, really weird. Um, but it was still, I, I still had a good time, and it was still a lot of fun. And uh, uh, afterwards, um, uh, Josh took me through Fortnite for the first time. I played. <laughs> you did it. I did it. You did it. I did. and it was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> oh no, we've lost one. <laughs> yep, that's it. Really? It was. <laughs> Chris. Sup- Surprisingly, I was not expecting to hear that. I wasn't either. (laughs) It was surprisingly fun. Now, if Josh hadn't been there to be on the chat with me, I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it. I would have been so lost. Yeah. Because Uh, there's no tutorial at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. And so I I would have had no idea what was happening. Um, And so uh, it was definitely, you know, kind of like an Overwatch thing where... If you have someone there with you that you know to be with you, it's mm-hmm. an entirely different experience. Mm-hmm. And yes, so yes, yes. Josh took me through and we played a few games and then Shell Door, Jonathan from the community, he hopped in almost immediately after and mm-hmm. we played a few games and it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um I don't know that I would hop in by myself, but it's a it's good for it's a great hang. It looks great too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I thought mm-hmm. it was really fun. Um yeah, so it was nice. We got I didn't we didn't win. I uh, got a second place once, uh, and I was very happy with that. Um, Did you do any building? I put a wall up every once in a while by accident. Exactly, but mm-hmm. yeah, by accident. I love it. Yeah, and, and mm-hmm. Josh was kind of the same as me. He was like, I don't really build unless it's like a a, a panic. I gotta hide. But he's just more about mm-hmm. 
you know, kind of hanging back and letting other people build and using that as a sign of, look, there's people right there. Let's go blow their building up. <laughs> so, right. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I also tried Destiny 2 for the first time. Actually, it was my first Destiny game at all. And I <laughs> did not like that one as much. <laughs> <laughs> it was, And it was more of a, I'm just not like a, a Halo or Call of Duty or I just... I can't get my, I, I just, it's not me. It's just not my game. So yes. I understand why people like it. I'm just, uh, I, I can't, I can't get the. Let me ask you this. Yes. Do you think if you had somebody there with you on that one, that one would have been a different thing as well? It may have been. And with this one, um, I forget. Who... Cause I don't know if I've, I don't remember I was first starting destiny. I think I only played it with friends. Okay. And, and, and so it probably would have been, um, and mm-hmm. someone in the chat, I forget now who it was, uh, but you have to go through like the, I guess it's like a little mini story mission part first where it's just you by yeah. yourself. Uh-huh. And that part kind of, kind of ended me on it. I was just like, um, yeah, I think I'm good. Uh, <laughs> ah, so yeah, that's no good. Yeah. No bueno. I, no. Yeah. No bueno, but I'm not mad at the game and I don't dislike it. I just know that it's not for me. It's not for you. Yeah. Makes yeah. Sense. Yeah. So can do you have any kind of um, can you pinpoint something like this is the reason why? Like I'm sure there's a bunch of little things maybe, but was there one thing that stood out in particular? You're like I don't enjoy this aspect. I'm just curious um, if you at know. least you may in not the know. in the first part, like the story mission part, it was uh, it just felt really repetitive to me. It was like oh it's those guys again, mm-hmm. shoot 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 those guys again, and the gun that I had. Um, you couldn't just hold down the trigger and it would continue to fire. You'd have to hold down it, do a, a, a burst of fire, mm-hmm. and then you had to let up on the trigger. So you're, I was, my finger was actually sore um, from repeatedly pulling the trigger, holding it, releasing, pulling the trigger, holding it, releasing. And uh, so my finger is still a little, I can feel that I was using it a lot more than I'm used to. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, and, and, and uh, yeah, it was so. That was maybe part of it. Um, I got a little bored with the bad guys, mm-hmm. and uh, so yeah, that was that was. Uh, I guess that was my beef, if anything. Yeah. Um, and then uh, let's see. Last night uh, I played. I had never finished it before. The Last of Us DLC, Left Behind. Oh, oh yes. yeah, man. I never even played it. Yeah, yeah. how it, was it? It was good. I enjoyed it. Chris, did you play it? Oh yeah, yeah, I played it. I, I only played it. Uh, let's see, because I don't think I played it on PS4, so I didn't, not that it makes much difference. I think it's the exact same. It just looks prettier. Um, but I had played it when it released on PS3. Okay. And then I don't think I rebought it. Actually, the the remastered version, I think, may have it included, but I never played it a second time. Yeah. But I did play it, yeah. And and that was another one. That was, it was tough, but then I remembered that The Last of Us, there were a lot of places where I died a lot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So, yeah. yeah, I was like, "Oh yeah, this is just the Last of Us." Um, but yeah, I was very happy to see a return of the Book of Puns, and it yes, made me happy that's for Chris. one of the best parts. <laughs> <I know. laughs> but uh, so yeah, it was nice to kind of go back and, and visit that world after a long time. And uh, yeah, man, yeah, it was it was really cool. So it was a nice a nice week of of various I mean, especially games. since you know Last of Us two in October. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Hey, use it. So, sure, you want to get sure. caught up? Yeah, yeah, man. Keep the faith. Make sure you have that whole that whole story <laughs> locked down, away yeah, in your memory right. banks. Yeah. That's right. But uh, yeah, it was it was a, it was a nice week. A uh, good week of gaming with with uh, with fun peoples. So I can't complain. I like it. Yeah, that's great. Uh, router. Yeah, buddy. What's been going down with you, brethren? Well, Piper's topic of the week this week is Hawaii. We have booked, huh? we have booked our flights for Hawaii in October. Um, we are Ooh, celebrating nice. our Lauren and I are celebrating our twentieth anniversary, and it just happens to wow, fall wow on dude. her fall break. So we're all going to go as a family to the uh, to Disney's resort in Hawaii called Alani, I believe, and it's on yep. it's on like the west coast of Oahu. So wow. I'm super stoked! I can't wait. Um, and we're just wow. going to go and have fun. Lauren and I are going to get, get away, just the two of us. We're going to go down to Barnsley Gardens, which is a, a little resort in Alpharetta, Georgia, um, for like three days. And then a couple days later is when we head out to Hawaii. So October is going to be 
uh, a jet setting month for us and it'll be it's a lot of wow, fun. We've, nice. been, we've been planning it and we used our vacation um our vacation club points for um the hawaiian hawaiian resort so we're we're super excited i it's funny like we were talking about like do we just go without piper and it's like you know it's kind of far it's on the other side of the ocean and why don't we just bring her and it'll just be a fun family time and she'll have a ball it'll be a good memory for her and a good memory for us and as long as we do mm. have like that some time just for the two of us without her um just being nuts um it'll it'll be great so i'm really looking forward to it we're gonna i think we're gonna have a really good time so i do want to get up to uh pipeline the bonsai pipeline it's like a huge surfing spot in oahu in oahu mm. and uh just take some video and pictures of it but um yeah right. so, there you go. so that's all she's been talking about now like she told her teacher yeah. yesterday that next month she's going to hawaii and her teacher's like okay great and uh yeah so she's been <laughs> she's been really excited <laughs> she's she, like, that's good sit back down that's please. right sit back down and do your math <laughs> and uh like she's already got half like she's already packed which doll she wants to bring and it's it's, it's kind of mm. cute and it's really exciting so it'll be a lot of fun we're gonna have a good time um this past labor day uh, dude, I didn't do anything. It was great. We, nice. We just kind of hung out. Uh, Sci-Fi Channel was doing a Harry Potter marathon, so we w- watched a ton of Harry Potter. Oh, sweet. Um, and and really just kind of hung out and and had dinner with the in-laws uh, two nights, and it was just it was great. It was just good hangout, relaxing time, and uh, and so it was awesome. And, and on Friday, of course, was No Work Fridays with Mr. Placencia on Twitch. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it's just I man, I look forward to it every week now. So anytime you don't do it, I'm gonna be really disappointed and just keep texting you and bugging you so that you can get back on. It really is. That is that what you did this week? It was it was so we were like, where are you at? Where are you at? Exactly. Jack, where are you at? It was where you at? So much fun. Where you at? And I like Where you at? Where, where you at? Yeah. There where you, you go. At? There you go. There you go. Peanut butter Eddie. Peanut butter Eddie. Shoot a peanut butter Eddie. Peanut butter Eddie. <laughs> Peter, better get some Jackbox games. That's right. So much fun, man. Those Jackbox that games. That was a good time. Jackbox games are just so much fun and just uh, getting in there with the community and having a good time. So, again, I, I know I do it every week, but thank you, Ed, for always putting that together and hosting that because it's just so much fun. And uh, Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. We, we had a full house this Friday, too. There was a lot of people trying to get into the rooms and just. It, yeah, it, it was, was great. It was it was nuts. So I, I'm hoping that popularity keeps going and, and we get more people out there. So it's a lot yeah, of fun. For sure. I love that. Nice. Yep. Um, let's see. We got uh, what else going on? Uh, soccer. We've got another game this weekend. And we had practice yesterday that I had to I had to run practice yesterday because the coach was gone. Dude, it was so hot. It was 87 at 530 in the evening. And I'm like, oh, these girls Oosh. are dying. So we kept it pretty, mm-hmm. kept it pretty easy. And the sun's like, there's no shade. So the sun's just beating down on them. So I'm like, all right, we're going to call this early. Let's all go get something to eat and relax and, and drink lots of water, basically. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah, so it's just been, it's Pickle been juice. really, we exactly. Those electrolytes. There you go. Perfect. The new Gator, Freaking it's gross. the new Gatorade <laughs> flavor. <laughs> it's not gross, man. It's good stuff. I love pickles. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm. You know what's funny? Just pickle juice. Here's a little a little life hack for you. If you get the hiccups, yeah. have a pickle yeah. or or have some pickle juice. For some reason, the uh, the like the vinegar and stuff. The in it awesomeness. Helps. The awesomeness it. of it helps. Yeah, helps. Oh, that makes me nauseous just thinking about it. If I'm being completely honest, <laughs> Chris, I'm so glad you and I are on the same page, brother. Yeah, I love man, that pickle juice. I love every freaking day. that. That's awesome. Every uh, day. Every, every day, all day. <laughs> I got a tablespoon of pickle juice every day. <laughs> Just a tablespoon of pickle juice makes it's everything. Okay. That'll be in that'll be in Mary Poppins too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on the gaming front, I did not touch my PlayStation the entire weekend, and I ah. not for not wanting to, but it was weird. Like I would set my alarm because I wanted to get up early and do some gaming, and I completely overslept the entire weekend. It was awesome. No way. So it was. <laughs> I needed That's it. That's what the weekend is for. I know. I needed it, for. but at the same time, I felt really bad because I really wanted to get in, uh, finish up South Park, which I'm. I think I'm almost done with, uh, and and loving it um, because my uh, my gamers club expires i think in two weeks in september i went ahead and pre-ordered two games i pre-ordered uh tomb raider and nice. uh, of course assassin's creed odyssey so those are the two that uh, that are coming my way which and of those so, comes out first uh tomb raider comes out i believe next weekend or 
I think it's it's either oh, next really? week. Man. It's next week or the following week. I did not realize that came out in September. I thought they were both yes. somewhere in October. Okay. No. Yeah, first week in October for Assassin's Creed, and I think it's next week, and I'll double check that in a second. But uh, yeah, so I figure I might as well get my little pre-order on there. And, and of course, I didn't have to pay for anything because of all my Best Buy gift cards that I still have. Mm-hmm. Nice. I, I'm, still, I'm still bummed about the whole Gamers Club thing. I think they really could have done something great with it. And, and they, I thought they did for a while, but I guess every, not everybody knew about it. And, and I, don't I think they should have faked a heart attack. Like They should say that it's going away and do a huge push and see if they don't get people to like. I agree, man. You know what I'm saying? Be like, hey, this is going away in six months if you want to take advantage of it. (laughs) Because I I mean, I really enjoyed it because, you know, when you pre-order games, you got a little bit of a discount. All right. So it doesn't have to be that big of a discount. But the fact that you would, you know, collect your points, you would get rewards. I mean, that's what everybody does now. So why Mm -hmm. wouldn't why wouldn't you want to do that? and have some sort of a rewards club for people, especially at a Best Buy, where I'm sure video games are still a, a good part of your sales as well as well, you a few other Well, they still have the reward stuff. club or whatever. You still earn yeah. points when you buy stuff. Yeah, I just, right? but, yeah, but I think for the gamers club stuff, you would, you would get yeah. more discount. More He's saying stuff. that was the push to go buy games there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it, yeah. Yeah, so, but uh, it is what it is. I'll... I mean, I still have some gift cards, so I might as well just keep buying games from them and, and just until it, it all runs out. But um, out yeah. of spite, you can always go in there and buy an Amazon gift card with your gift card. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. true. That's very true. Oh. That's Although kind of, their things going away, too, or already went away or whatever. Oh, yeah. True. Yeah, I, I don't. Buy an eBay gift card. There you go. There you go. <laughs> buy a PSN card. Buy it digitally. Ooh, yeah, look go. at you. There you Ooh. go. So uh, anyway, that I believe is it for moi. Nice. There you go, Christopher. Okay, well I, we're just going to continue the trend here of did a lot of nothing this past week. Awesome, nice. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> I mean, that's let's just be honest. That's what you want to do on a holiday weekend. You want to do a lot of nothing. Mm-hmm. I agree. That's true. Uh, so I didn't do anything really. I mean, the only thing that I did do um, on Saturday. So back when we had the uh, school supply drive, one of the things, many things that they do to raise money is they have a raffle. And Kale had put some, he had bought some raffle tickets and put it in to win, uh, to try and win tickets to FC Dallas, which FC Dallas is the MLS soccer team for Dallas. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Um, and he won tickets to it. So the four of us went, me, Stacy, Katie, and Kale. Uh, and he had, um, I don't, I guess you'd call it a table, basically right on the field. So yeah, man, the field no, yeah, ends, crazy, and then right? there's the, a barrier there, and then they have these tables set up with like four chairs per table. And there was like five of them, I guess. Um, so those were the seats that he won. And this is the first time. So out of nice. all of the pro sports in the Metroplex, the only one I had never been to was a soccer game. And technically I had like way back in the day, we used to have a professional indoor soccer team. Like when I was a kid, I went and saw them, but I never saw the, you know, regular size field soccer team before. Mm-hmm. So this was my first opportunity to, to give it a shot. And I was like, hey, I want to you know check it all out, see what's, what's going on. And it was a lot of fun. That's great, man. Yeah. I had no idea what was going on most of the time, but I still had a really good time in terms of like the rules and like, why did that happen there? And why, mm-hmm. what's that card mean? And, and all this stuff, which luckily Kale used to play soccer when he was younger and everything. So, and even uh, not too long ago. Um, so he would just kind of explain everything as it was going on. And he, one thing that he was telling me, which the whole flopping thing, you know, that soccer is oh, kind yeah. of infamous for. Yeah. He, I didn't know this. It's called diving or, or yep. it, when you do it, it's a dive. And I had no idea. Um, he's like, yeah, it definitely happens. He said, but it's more of a a European. It's a bigger issue in the European side and like all around the rest of the world, I guess. Uh, he said it doesn't happen quite as much in MLS, but I thought it happened a lot. <laughs> and I was right, like, yeah. oh, wow. <laughs> like, and Stacy was getting crazy annoyed every time she's doing. It. She'd be like, man, what's the deal with these fakers? Because it wasn't a lot of times. There were only a few times where they would do something, and you watch the replay and be like, that guy didn't even get touched, and he fell over. Mm. That only happened mm. like maybe twice. But there were a lot of times where somebody would get pushed or hurt or, you know, hit with an elbow or something like that. But then they would just like roll around on the ground for like five minutes like it was a big deal when really it wasn't. (laughs) It's just like, all right. So I could I could definitely do without that part. Yeah. But outside of that, it was it was a lot of fun. In the European leagues now, too, like if you deliberately take a dive, you'll get you'll get a card for that now. So I mean they're they're cracking down on it, but a lot of it is just to draw a foul. Like you just want to overact oh, yeah, yeah. so that so that you draw the foul, and it's 
Well, and yeah, they only had the like one either. ref on the on the game, right? They only exactly. had the one ref on the field, right? Right? If that's assuming that's there's what yeah, no, there's there's a bunch of them. there's one ref, and then there's two uh, linesmen. They're or they usually have the flags along the yeah, sidelines. Which those so. guys look. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't Uh-oh. I don't like the whole officiating side of the game. It feels like there's I mean, I don't want like a ton of officials on the field, but at the same time, like one dude in the middle of the field to watch all the garbage that's going on. And then those side guys, there were so many times the ball would go out and the dude be the other end of the field. It's like, yo, flag dude, what's up right here? The ball just went out. Where's your little yellow checker thing? That's so, so funny. Oh, that was kind of weird. But I would totally go back again. Um it's it's kind of like uh hockey where I don't really know, like, I don't even know what channel it comes on, but I doubt I would watch it on television. But if I somebody was like, hey, do you want to go to a game or, or something like that, I would totally be like, yeah, let's get some tickets and we'll go again. Because the one thing about it being uh, soccer, you know, and not the biggest sport in America, like, the tickets aren't, or the tickets aren't expensive. So Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah I didn't think oh, of that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, it, it was a good time, and I would definitely go do it again. But outside of that, pretty much just lazy the rest of the weekend. It's great, Didn't really man. do much of anything. It rained on Monday, which was like the vast majority of the day. So even better reason to just stay inside and play games all day. Mm-hmm. Um, so on the gaming front, uh, I did play some of the typical stuff. Like I got in a little bit of Overwatch, got in some more H1Z1. Still enjoying H1. Um, I don't Good. play it. I'm playing it a little bit less. Um, but I am checking in each day to see what's in the market because I have this hoodie that I want to buy for my character and it hasn't been popping up. So every day I check in and see if it's there <laughs> and it's not there. Um, been playing more of the CSR racing I've on my phone because, you know, why not? Still having a lot of fun with that. <laughs> sure, uh, sure. Yeah. And then I jumped back into Detroit. I was telling uh, Ed last week sometime, I was like, I'm going to try to play maybe on Monday because I feel like I'm close to the end. Mm-hmm. But I thought I still probably had like four or five hours. Well, it turns out I only had like two hours. Oh, wow. Uh, nice. Or actually, not even that. It was more like an hour and a half. Um, so I completed it. It's story's done. So one more game off of the list. And so that's seven games so far that I've played in 2018. And my goal was Very to do nice. 10. Nice. So, oh, man, you're there. You'll so I there. have Spider-Man is already a given because that one's coming. So then I just need to find two more games. I, and I was, I'm already planning to get Red Dead, but the problem is, is I'm not sure I'm going to complete Red Dead or that I, oh, even if right. I want right. to, I don't know that I'll have the time because I, I just don't know how, I don't have a good scope of how long the campaign is going to be. I figure it'll be pretty long. What? Yeah. How, how long was Red Dead 1? Was it like 40 hours, 20 hours? Probably somewhere hours? in between 20 and 40, maybe. If, yeah, I, and I'm I am just talking about just the story And part. it's probably one of those things where you could just drag it out, yeah, too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so like, long, and I'm, right? I'm only talking about, like, when it comes to Red Dead, like, I'm sure I'll do side stuff, but for the most part, unless it just doesn't work that way, the way that it's structured, I plan to just try to get the story part done and leave all this, most of the mm-hmm. side stuff for after the fact. Yeah. But I don't know if that will impede my ability to progress, or uh, so we'll have to find out. Because, like, with Spider-Man... My understanding is like you can complete the campaign and then save all the side stuff for after the fact. So, mm-hmm. which is kind of how I did it for God of War and and a couple of the other ones. So, uh, I'm trying to find something else. I mean, I can count Red Dead, but in the off chance that I can't get it finished before the the year ends, I'm trying to find two other games that I can add into the list. Tomb so I'm, I'm Raider. Figuring out which one that is. Uh, I mean, maybe we'll see. <laughs> Tomb Raider just like I was one of the people that even on the first one the reboot I was like hey this looks really good but I just am not you didn't like it this. Oh. yeah mm-hmm. I don't so, I just couldn't get real into it yeah so I mean it's not off the the list because it looks good it always looks good yeah but I'm just not sure about it yet so we'll have to see it's possible that one I'm thinking maybe Assassin's Creed Odyssey oh yeah oh nice uh, and then I, I may throw they in the like the boats a, back so it's a oh good, you know, yeah it's a good yeah time. that's true I'm thinking I might grab um, Battlefield Five only because. Call oh, of Duty's yeah. not going to have any kind of campaign, so there's not a thing to beat, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so maybe Battlefield Five, but I don't know. What well, I got a little bit of time that I can figure that out, and then I've just been looking straight on to Friday, actually Thursday because football season starts, but then Friday because I'm just yeah. all in for Spider Man. Dude, I'm I can't super wait. Super pumped for Spider Man. It's do- it's it's preloading right now. I yep. Well, not for me, unfortunately. Oh, but yes. <laughs> the preload's already happening. I think I'm assuming the GameStop is going to have like a midnight. Hey, come pick up your game if you want to do that on Thursday. So that's likely what I'm going to go do. Well, they did it for God of War. So and man, I, my I, GameStops don't do that around here, man. It's freaking boring. Chris, you went physical. That, that's on this true, one. Gabe. They don't. I haven't seen anything for it. Yeah. Well, number one, one of ours is in the mall, so that oh, you know. Right jacks that up that's true but the other one doesn't seem to do it much i've i've called up there a couple times like hey you guys doing a midnight release 
They're like, no. Nah. And I'm like, see, that's why I don't give y'all any money anyway. Mm-hmm. There, There's only two in Nashville? Yeah, we've got... There's we, only two in this area. The third one got closed down. Yep. Wow. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You don't, you don't drive past 10 minutes. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I totally forgot. And that's it. what's funny is like, by the the way the... What's the saying? The way the crow flies, uh-huh. mm-hmm. the two are like a half a mile from each other. Oh, oh yeah. right. Like they're really close to each other. Well, I, like I said, I ordered. I, I They're both in Cool Springs, if that tells you anything. Right. Exactly. <laughs> like the reason I went th- physical is just because I got the collector's edition. So it requires you ah. to get a physical game. Oh, okay. Um, right, right. So, and I bought this one at the same place that I bought the God of War collector's edition. And they had a midnight for God of War. And I was actually a little bit late to it, but there wasn't many people there and they still did it. So I'm just assuming they're going to do the same thing because they did it for the other game. And I feel like. Even though God of War was hyped up a bunch, I feel like they've really, everybody's really yeah, pushed Spider-Man even more so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'm assuming mm-hmm. they're going to have something, but I, I'll call them this week or I'll, I'll stop by on the way home because it's just on the right yeah. pass, on the way from work. I'll find out if they're, ha- if they're not having it, then sure, I'll just go pick it up Friday after, after work. But either way, I, I just want to get it so I can, the main reason I want to pick it up at midnight is because I want to put the game in and let it be loading the game. Right. I go to yeah, right. That's right. Yeah, because right. I'm, I'm actually going to work on Friday. Yeah. File. So I'm not going to be playing it Thursday night. I just want to pick it up and get the game loading so that it's mm-hmm. all done. And I, when I get home Friday, I can sit down and just play. Right. Stacy leaves go. town on Thursday. Oh, and she's only oh, going to be gone for that about convenient? A week. <laughs> yeah, she's only going to be gone for about a week. But I'm definitely going to be just playing the heck out of Spider-Man. <laughs> so. This will be done by Saturday morning. Perfect yeah, he will. timing. I've <laughs> exactly. got something to do. Yep. Love you. Bye. Yep. So that's what I've been looking forward to, and. That's pretty much it. Lazy weekend here. Nice. Love it. Dang it. Hit it up, Mr. Patillo. You I mean, did not have a lazy weekend, did you? Guys, <laughs> yeah, right. Picking up the slack for us. Yeah. yeah. You, you, sir, were crazy. Man, oh, man. Yeah, we've been to Seattle and back. Mm-hmm. How was it? The, we last talked. It was good. The weather was like, oh, oh man. Is that it a good so, woo? I know. I it was tell. so nice. Oh, good. It was, good. I think. I think the high was like 72 or something mm, like that. Oh, like it was perfect. Just, so yes, yearn for like, those days. Yes, hoodie weather. Mm. You know, you're wearing a jacket all day. Oh my gosh, it was so good. Obviously, nice. it was really great um, to see Stancil, even though he's got uh, terrible ideas <laughs> and <laughs> things like that. I don't know about that. It looked amazing. <laughs> sure did. Um, so I mean, skipping ahead, me and Stancil did the hot sauce challenge, or you know, copying hot ones. <laughs> right. you know, the little thing that we watch and that Ed did as well when he was over at Stancil's mm-hmm. house. And, but that was, was it your idea when you did it with Stancil? Or was it his idea? I think it was his. See? Mm. Yeah. See, y- you've already pretty much underscored that I can never go to Stancil's house again because <laughs> I know what's waiting for me when I go in that door. Now that he knows this is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. So, um, that 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 was a uh, an experience, <laughs> dude. Mm. I don't know how many times I was even telling Sarah. I was like, and he gets the hiccups, and she said, "I uh, did." Oh yeah, it's probably because he was breathing. But and I was like, no, he immediately got the hiccups. Immediately <laughs> got the hiccups. It was the craziest thing ever. And I was like, and I've seen people get the hiccups on that show before. I get uh-huh. them too, man. Yeah, from he- from heat hot stuff. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. <sighs> Dude, so I'd funny. never, I, I don't eat hot stuff. And so, um, me neither. <laughs> the fact that, yeah, the fact that I'm like three chews in and half a swallow, and my whole body was like, <laughs> I was like, uh oh. I was like, that can't be, that, that can't be that's right. That's not a good sign. <laughs> that's that's yeah, not I good. Like, I say on the video, I was like, oh, I'm hiccuping. I must be dying. <laughs> so, um, that was, uh, exciting. Oh, so funny to watch, dude. Oh well, good. If you, uh, yeah, you can go to the old YouTube channel mm-hmm. and see me and Stancil doing the hot sauce challenge part two. <laughs> and um, <laughs> you know, I feel bad because Ed should have. I feel we felt so proud that we did it all, mm-hmm. but I was like, Ed would have done it all, but the time before this, Jason punked out. Yeah, he did, yep. and had to and had to tap out before you guys got to the. Uh, <laughs> gosh, the mega death sauce and all this business, <laughs> and the last dab. Oh gosh, it literally felt like somebody had put a cigarette out on my tongue, 
no. for like the next two days. Mm. Oh no. Oh, it was so bad. It nice. hurts so bad. <laughs> but I'm glad we did it. And I'm sure. glad there's video of it. Yep. Um, I showed it to Jenny and Jenny was just crying. She was laughing so hard. Nice. It was so funny. Um, and then I showed it to Amara and Amara started crying because she saw how stressed I was. Oh, oh no. Sweet She's girl. like, I can't watch this anymore. I was like, oh, Boots, it's, oh. it's okay. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, also, speaking of crying, do you guys remember the question of the week that uh, one of the questions we got? Last week or the week before where somebody asked us if we could talk to our dogs for like 60 seconds. Yeah. Yes. What would we say? You actually so did I that? Posed... <laughs> yeah, I did it. Yeah, I got the little. How'd you do I it? Bought the thing. I bought the thing on Amazon. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, I uh, asked Jenny that question. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I was like, hey, we got this question on the podcast. Mm -hmm. What would you tell Sadie if you could communicate with her for 60 seconds? She immediately starts crying. What? What? I was like, oh, snap. And you got to understand, like, Sadie, to her, which I didn't actually know this, represents a lot more than Sadie represents to me. Hmm. And so she had pushed to get Sadie. We had got Sadie like six months after we got married. And she, Sadie really represents, like, peace in our house for her because I was traveling so much. And she told me yesterday, she was like, I didn't get to serve you as a wife the way I wanted to or the way I thought I would when I first got married hmm. because you were gone so much. And Sadie really was my companion mm. while you were gone. Wow. And she was like, she, you know, yeah. she filled in the gap for you. You know, when I was home alone in a new condo in a different part of town that I didn't live in, Sadie was like my constant. Mm. And wow. so <laughs> it, was, it, was, it caught me off guard. I'm like getting wow. misty. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. She was like, you know, and she just said the same things we say, you know, but she was, you know, through tears, you know, I would tell her I love her and that I'm sorry for, you know, having, you know, for her to kind of get knocked down the list as these kids came along. And, but that, you know, she's an amazing dog. She's just that like, she's a good dog. You know mm. what I'm saying? She's crying. I'm like, Aww. oh man, this is really sweet right now. Yeah. Aww. Right. Um, then she's like, get out off the couch. <laughs> Gabe was oh. like, that's great. But, uh, the guys want to play overwatch right now. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> oh man babe that's real sweet uh, yeah uh-huh 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 um Boy, when i get in there so... i'm gonna put up those may walls so fast i mean uh yeah uh-huh uh -huh. <laughs> oh my gosh oh, um funny. so pax was great i have to give a huge uh shout out and and i'm sorry to zach ald mm. is that how you say his last name ald yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so so here's what's crazy our PAX trip is all about Moses, who's Toby's son with muscular dystrophy. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we, the trip is planned around him. It's planned for him to enjoy. We serve him through the thing. Stancil does an amazing job mm. at serving the McKeans and serving the thing. It's That's not awesome. about Gabe getting to go play games and Stancil, you know, you know, we crack up when we like head back to his house with his family and, you know, and then, you know, we do the hot sauce challenge and play Overwatch and, and things like this and, and verses. And um, but w during the day, that's not what it's about. So mm -hmm. I am standing there. We had just got to PAX and I'm standing in there. And this guy kind of walk, walks past me and I was like, that guy looked really familiar. I was like, was that Zach? Because I've met Zach before. We've hung out, yeah, we hung okay, out at PAX okay. last year. Uh, Zach has come out to a show, a Toby show. And so, or uh, in Portland, we went and wa rode the one wheel together. I don't know if you guys remember that. Anyway, um, so he walks past me and I was like, is that Zach? But we had just gotten there. Mm -hmm. So, um, and Toby and them wanted to eat. And so we're doing the thing. We're meeting up with his son and their cousins because everybody went. So I, I text Zach on a uh, direct message on Twitter. I was like, hey, are you at PAX? He was like, yeah. I was like, were you just walking around smoking a cigarette? And he was like, yeah, that was me. I was like, oh, that's crazy. I can't believe I saw you. You know, there's thousands of people there. And uh, he was like, let's link. He goes, uh, let's meet up. And I was like, hey, let me hit you up after lunch because we're about to sit and eat with everybody. And um, and I forgot to hit him up the whole rest of the weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so I felt terrible. And it wasn't till you because should. like, no. I, exactly. Yeah, I, do, I do feel bad. That's why, I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm apologizing and giving the shout out. But it wasn't until I got back on the plane 
um, and I saw a picture of him and Gavin uh, Hammond that he had posted <laughs> oh, on yeah. Twitter. And it was like, you know, Gavin says, where are you, Gabe? And I was like, oh, no, <laughs> like I've messed up mm. because there was, I, you know, I have a million excuses. You had to but, be there for Moses, man. Absolutely. Yeah. You're, you're kind of in that. But at the same time, because I started my own Twitter, me and him had direct message on the Married to the Games Twitter. Uh. And so I just wasn't seeing that, you know, the reminder for that message because I was posting stuff to him anyway. Right. Um, so Zach, I'm so sorry, man. Next time I'm in the great Northeast, Northwest, please forgive a brother and, uh, coffee's on me. Sorry. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Um, <laughs> did you stay at Stansel's like, you didn't thing? call me once. <laughs> um, yeah, I oh, stayed awesome. at Stansel's house. So it was good to hang out with him and the family. Um, I did get to play, uh, let's see, Spider-Man for like five minutes. It, it was, nice. it was real quick. Cause what happens is because Moses is in a wheelchair, he can't do the lines like everybody else. Mm-hmm. And so Stancil kind of will go and, and talk to them, let them know what's going on. And sometimes they have us wait for a second and then they'll bring him in. And sometimes when they do that, not all the time, but sometimes they're like, hey, if if you guys want to come and, you know, play on the, the one next to him or something like that, you can do that. And so that's what happened with Spider-Man. He was sitting there playing it for like 15 minutes and one opened up next to him and they were like, hey, do you want to play for a second while he's finishing up? And I was like, sure. And so, nice. you know, got to play for five to 10 minutes and not 10 minutes, mm. five to three to five minutes. <laughs> and uh, it felt right. Did it change your hype level at all? It did. And I and I told you guys, uh, Chris, this yesterday. I, and I don't know that he's the main villain, mm-hmm. that Mr. Negative guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Number one, what a terrible name. Yes. For a Bad. villain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm negative. You're like, oh, you're Mr. Negative. Look at this. Oh, you're just a Mr. Negative running around. Oh, I'm I, I angry. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand that. You're always looking at the dark side of things. And you're always looking at the dark side of things. Yeah, he's so negative. Yeah, he's Mr. Negative. So anyway, I can't stand that for some strange reason. I don't like the look of him. I don't like the name. I understand he's an actual Spider-Man villain. I don't like it. So that's the only thing that I'm like... <laughs> I'm not on the, it's not going to keep me from getting the game because I really want to mm-hmm. play it now, but it's the only thing I'm not really looking forward to. I'm like, eh, yeah. Mr. Negative. Nah. nah well, like. the, oh, so hopefully he's not the main guy. You know? Yeah. So in the that first E3 trailer that we watched, you see mm-hmm. now he's in jail or something, but you saw Kingpin. So we know that there's at least another villain in the world. So that makes mm-hmm. me think like, OK, well, I think the Sinister Six is in it. Yeah, well, I I just saying like there's other villains, so it's possible that Mister Negative is not like the main baddie the main that you're gonna guy. get towards the end. It's like obviously there's other people in this world, so he may just be the yeah. guy you fight in the beginning, and then oh well, we put Mister Negative, uh, giving him a positive charge in jail, you know, or something, and then <laughs> yeah, yes, See what I'm saying. So <laughs> bad jokes, <laughs> and so anyway, but yeah, I mean the combat didn't feel as slow as I. But as I felt watching it, mm-hmm. yeah. um, and so yeah, it'll be it'll be good. It was. I'm excited to get the controls under my fingers, just because I'm struggling to try to, you know, fly through the buildings. But like the animation while he's swinging and everything is just so cool, and he's mm. like kind of turning around like you think you would if you were just holding a rope, you know. And um, I don't know. It's gonna be. I think it's gonna be really fun. And I know the reviews are in, and it's not like nines out of tens and tens out of tens but it's like eight to nines out of tens is that kind of like the uh, the realm that it's in yeah it's got it's got definitely a lot of nines i think there's, like a b plus there's like a 10 average. somewhere in there but yeah it's the random one place here and there i think it last time i looked or, or saw it it had like an 85 or 86 on metacritic or something which is you know pretty yeah it's a good place to be expectations yeah. not too high Exactly. Mm-hmm. And I think that's right around where Second Son was, was like the 80 to 85. And I really enjoyed that game. So, yeah, nice. Um, and that's not just Costanzo. So, um, that was fun. We got to go over to, we got to tour Sucker Punch, um, which oh, was really nice. cool. Nice. Um, I got to go up to Amazon Games and kind of reconnect with some of the people there, obviously, after doing the voiceover thing. That's awesome. So, that was, that was really cool. And what was, what was weird was people like, he'd be like, Hey, this is Gabe. And we'd be talking and blah, 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 blah. He was like, actually, Gabe is uh, one of the voices. And the people, oh, we knew we knew right when we started talking. <laughs> that's so cool. We knew. Oh, that's you great. Know what I'm saying? So it was a really cool, like that's uh, awesome. back and forth with some of the people up there. That was like, 
it's funny because I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like not expecting anybody to heard anything yet or that, you know, I was just, you know, get got to do this thing and like, hey, they're doing their thing. So, you know, they were celebrating a milestone. I don't know what it was, um, but they were just celebrating. And and so we were there and it was it was really, really cool. So that's um, awesome, dude. And people were really encouraging. That's great. Nice. Did Moses have a good time? Moses had a really good time. Yeah, I there think the game that took uh, packs for him, it was Spider-Man mm. after the first day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the second day I had him play Jump Force, and oh, nice. he said Jump Force took all of packs. Wow. Interesting. So Jump that Force. was his favorite. I don't favorite. think I know that. It sounds yeah, really- Jump Force, the one we made fun of with Goku and Nar- uh, Naruto. Naruto, it's Shippudo, like the fighting. Baludo. Yeah. Naruto. <laughs> Um, remember that one? It's the fighting game yeah, yeah, yeah. with all of them. Uh-huh. Uh, so, um, yeah, and looking at it, it looked awesome. I didn't get to play it, but uh, watching over his shoulder, I was like, okay, this, it, this is going to be something. And I sent my brother, I put it on Twitter, but uh, no, I put it on my Instagram. I, I took a picture of Jump Force and sent it to my brother, and he's like, looking it up now. And I was like, I was like, dude, it looks so slick. And then he texts me, he's like, um, Oh my gosh, it looks like they took Marvel vs. Capcom and made it anime. He was like, God answers prayers. <laughs> I was like, yeah. That's awesome. So I put it on my Instagram. I was like, we are so brothers. That's so, funny. Uh, yeah, man. Okay, so to wrap up, today we are leaving for uh, Disney. We're doing Disney for one day. Um, wow. And it's because we can do it for cheap. We still had leftover free tickets. Southwest was doing $80 one-way flights oh snap yeah non-stop man. and we're just riding the bus back mm. so it's like we're doing it as, che- as cheap wow. as we possibly yeah, man. can which park are you doing i think we're gonna try to do hollywood studios mm-hmm. and maybe the magic kingdom Dude, that's i don't know no you so, can do that you can do hollywood Star Wars studios finished yet? fast no no i don't know what i don't know what's all finished but no the, mm. the um, new toy story land will be open if you want yeah. to go through there. And she, she enjoyed Hollywood Studios more than anywhere else because they have Disney Junior there. Mm-hmm. They have the Toy Story stuff there. They've got the Star yeah. Wars stuff there, which she actually really likes. And so it was it's so she doesn't know yet. We still haven't really so found figured out how we were going to surprise her. But tonight we get on a flight. So we'll be in Orlando tonight, do Disney all day tomorrow. And then we have a show at Universal. So we'll do. Oh, nice. We'll get a guide, and they'll take us around, do all the rides at Universal. That's and then awesome. Ride the bus home, be home by Saturday morning. So, oh wow, that's great. Yeah, we're excited. So it'll be a be a good time. But we did kind of have that like punch in the gut yes last night when we were talking about everything. We're like, dang, how do we explain this to Remy? Like, hey, your mom, dad, and sister are leaving for like three days. Mm-hmm. Uh, see ya. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? I was right. like, we could. I was like, we could always just play it up and be like, "Hey, you want to go to Disney?" He's gonna be like, "No." We're like, "Okay, good. We're going to Disney. We'll That's see right. you when you get back." <laughs> you said no. Yeah, exactly. All right, I'm I'm done. I shouldn't have gone that long. No, it's awesome, dude. Uh, router. Yes. You got it. Yes. Well, let's do it. There's nothing out this week. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nothing of note. Uh, of exactly. course, nothing Marvel's of Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4, September 7th. Go get you some. Mm. Mm-hmm. Genesis Alpha 1, PC, PS4, Xbox One. Dimension Drive, PS4, Xbox One. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds 1.0 launch for the Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Claws of Furry, that sounds good. PC, PS4, Xbox One, Switch. <laughs> Claws of Furry. Claws of Furry. Uh, <laughs> Planet Alpha, PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Operation Warcade for the PlayStation VR. Super Street, mm. the game, PC, PS4, Xbox One. Ninja, Clash of Carrots, PC, PS4, <laughs> Xbox One, and Switch. What? Sorry, Spider-Man. That's right. Ninja. <laughs> Ninja, Clash of Carrots. 
Uh, I kind of kind of dig that. That's cool. <laughs> Dragon Quest Eleven. If you haven't played one through ten, echoes of an elusive age for the PC and PS4. Destiny Two, Forsaken, of course, Destiny for, the, two. for the PC, PS4, Xbox One. Ed's favorite. Moonfall Ultimate PC, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Alea for the PC and Xbox One. Hyper Light mm. Drifter Special Editions for the Switch. Unknown Fate for the PC. The Inner Friend for the PC. Another Sight for the PC. <laughs> the Inner Friend. The Inner Friend as opposed to the Outer Friend. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is Mr. Negative, apparently. Uh-huh. Uh, Gone Home for the Switch, September 6th. Oh, really? Yes. Zone of the Enders, the second runner Mars. Who comes up with these titles, honestly? PC, uh, PS4, you know, VR. And all you got to do is VR. pop an Ambien, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> pop an Ambien, sky's the limit. Right. Exactly. SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy for the PS4 and Switch. NBA Live 19 for the PS4 and There's Xbox A lot of games. Mm-hmm. And <gasps> Immortal Unchained for the PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Yes, mm, that nice. is a lot of games coming out this week. Uh, we had no oops, obviously no NPD. We had the- one oops. Oh, nope. you? It was, um, I don't remember where I saw it. I saw it in passing. Uh, and I don't remember who it was, but they had mentioned that Octopath Traveler is a 16-bit game. I called it an 8-bit game last week. Like, it's got mm. that 8-bit ah. look. And I think Chrissy would ask me, like, is it 8-bit or 16-bit? I thought I did that loops last week. Oh, no, that was me not being on the Overwatch. Yeah. Free weekend. So, oh, uh, good call. Good Octopath call. Traveler. I finished that demo. Uh, it's a three-hour long demo. Um, yeah. I feel it. All Were right, you cool. as crazy about it as everyone else is? Uh, no, but maybe you have to get further into it than three hours to get real crazy about it. Okay. But I could see why it would be fun. In nice. In the demo, cool, how many it? of the octopaths do you travel down? As many as you can in three hours. Oh, so mm. like it's just a the whole game's unlocked, get as far as you can kind of thing? That's right. Ah, nice. Yeah. So I got two octopath travelers. <laughs> well, two paths. A duo path traveler. A duo path traveler. <laughs> You became a <laughs> duo path traveler. Well done. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, well, that is it for me. Back to you, gentlemen. Chris McCracken? Yes. What'd it do? So I just, this came out yesterday, I think. And I was like, huh, that's interesting. Maybe see what the guys have to think about this. So we know that Netflix is going to be doing a Witcher series. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. And mm-hmm. it turns out that it's going to be Henry Cavill that's going to be playing Geralt. Or mm-hmm. Geralt. That's what we is said. It Geralt? Is Geralt. That, is that? Geralt. 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 So... What do you think of that? <laughs> like, I was not expecting that. I'm not like a hater or anything like that, but I, I'm not. Honestly, we talked lot, about it. We did talk about yeah. this? Yeah. On the show. When? Yeah, we talked about like makeup and wigs and hair and. Remember, we were like, well, if they put a, took a mustache off his face, that they could put a beard on his face. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> like the story, like I saw three stories with it that came out yesterday. They're all dated uh, on the floor. Travel. Well, we we I I had um, brought it up as Was a story a, rumor? a couple weeks ago be- because he was a really big fan and said yeah. he wanted uh, to play. Right. Uh, so Gerald. I got you now, man. Why I can't remember Jack. See, but I'm I'm encouraged by that because he's a big fan. Like you know, he's going to put his all into it, which is great. That's right. And mm-hmm. so that so makes like, perfect I, sense. What, I'm totally but you cool said you that. weren't feeling it at the time. Yeah, Chris. at the time you didn't you didn't man, weren't a big fan of it. Y'all are like blowing my mind right now. I don't remember none yeah. of this. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was asleep. Because honestly, the only thing that I've even seen that I know that he's been in is Batman versus Superman. Like, I don't know any other movies Henry Cavill. Did you see in. Mission Impossible? No, I didn't see it. I know he's in it, but I didn't see it. Yeah, he's in like, that. So I don't have a real good perspective of like, oh yeah, he's going to nail it. But all right, well, shoot. <laughs> Oops on myself. Good Lord. I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Uh, but to be fair, like I don't remember what we talked about last week either. And it was last sponsored week, by so Chris's was... blackout moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, this this moment of forgetfulness brought to you by red wine and cauliflower. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, how was your week? <laughs> yeah. Chris, how was your week? <laughs> Chris? Oh uh, yeah. my gosh. Already <laughs> win. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Oh my god. No, gosh. I'm all, I'm all for this. He's a fan of the the video games. Yeah, he's games, a fan so. of the books and the and the video games. So they'll do, I'm, they'll I'm do it to. right. I'm I'm excited for this series. I think it'll be great. I hope it is. I really yeah, hope it and, is. Yeah. And I think too with, you know, with how I mean, jeez Louise, with how just makeup and all that is like 
Netflix is doing pretty good with stuff. Yeah. I think it'll be, I My think question it'll be really is, good. Uh, and maybe this was in, is this like Witcher 3 era or is this Witcher 1 and 2 era? That's what I want to know. I have no idea anything about the Witcher before does, 3. I mean, I, I'm not saying this like as a, to facetious anyway, but does it matter? I mean, like, I don't know. Like, is, is one of the stories, I mean, do you like three story better or does it? Oh, you either, you either get young. It's kind of like Kratos. You either get uh -huh. a younger, more aggressive Geralt or you get the older, wiser, yeah, you know, more gotcha. chill Geralt. It's like number eight Kobe and number 24 Kobe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, if I had to, if I had to guess. Pre-trial. If I had to guess, it's probably more of the, uh, not really origin story, but I, I bet it's closer to the beginning I of would, everything. I would think so, yeah. <laughs> Am I getting Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan or Chicago yeah. White Sox Michael Jordan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Washington Wizards Michael Jordan. <laughs> Washington Wizards Michael Jordan. Like getting crossed over by Allen Iverson oh, that's Michael hilarious. Jordan. Ooh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I'm excited about it. I'm excited, number one, just for uh, gaming to be furthered yes. in, in entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's easier to do a television show than a movie because... Mm -hmm. If the first one sucks, then hopefully right. the fifth one doesn't suck. Right. <laughs> like, you know, as far as the episodes. Um, but I knew, though, they like to shoot the whole season. So, I, you know, you just never know what's going to happen. But, yeah, I'm excited about that. I think it'll be cool. Yeah. Um, Overwatch League is adding some cities. Yeah. Which I thought uh, was cool. Washington, D.C. getting put up there. We talked about Atlanta already coming along. I really want to say these two cities in China, but... <laughs> I don't want to offend anybody. Um, so sure we're going to go with Paris and Toronto. Hey. We're also confirmed. So nice. I love Toronto. I've never been to Paris, but, uh, you know, voulez-vous uh, coucher avec moi? You know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> <Oui>. <laughs> I, like, I like this. I love that more cities are getting added. Mm -hmm. Um, yep. w what a great game. I was so glad to hop back in it and get reminded yep. why it's still the behemoth it is. Um, Ed, where, are, are you going to, would you jump ship from Spitfire if your state had a team? No, nah, man. <laughs> uh, of course not, because his team won a championship the first year. <laughs> Like now, I'm gonna go. Oh, the loser. Spitfire won. Yeah. That's right. But I, yeah, even okay. if they, even if they got last, I wouldn't jump ship. What if it was full of people f actually from Indiana? That probably even less so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just, <laughs> yeah, just the Spitfire. <laughs> what if the Indiana team, after their first win, they're interviewing the guy, and he's like, "And shout out to that guy on Twitch, Ed Placencia. He's awesome." Then I'd be like, you... "That's awesome. I'll follow you on Twitter." <laughs> Oh, man. Back to No Work Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. No, man, you got to be loyal. Yeah, I like that. I'm down for that. I, I did switch teams, though. Like, when I lived in California, mm -hmm. I grew up with the the 49ers. Oh, and now yeah. I'm a Titans fan. Yeah. Oh, there you go. See? It happens. Yeah, it happens. What else you got, Christopher? All right. Well, first of all, I got to... <laughs> This is this is not a repeat story. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna start out like that. I, I'm not sure, but I'm feeling confident that this is not. So, Spider Man, Sony, <laughs> so so <laughs> Sony and crossplay talk, but it's not old crossplay oh talk. It's a little gosh. bit of new. Yes. Stuff. So uh, the Sony CEO, goodness gracious, Kenichiro yeah, yeah. Yoshida. I think that's how there you say you his name. Yeah. Um, so he came out and gave a bit of a statement as it pertains to crossplay. And this is his quote, and I'm just going to read it verbatim. I do everything cool. Yeah, I only do everything mm -hmm. cool, just like Mario. Cool. And just Mario, like Mario doesn't crossplay. So booyah. <laughs> no, he said uh, on cross platform play, our thinking is it is always that PlayStation is the best place to play. Fortnite, mm -hmm. I believe, partnered with PlayStation 4, is the best experience for users. That is our belief. But actually, we are open to games on cross-platform with PC and some others, so we decided based on what the best user experience is, that's our way of thinking on cross-platform play. Now, as you might imagine, some there's, some, there's some people on the Xbox side, um, more specifically Mikey Barra, who's a, an engineer over there on, and of the Xbox console, said, look, Sony still isn't listening to gamers. All gamers should be able to play cross-play, have progression with their right input, flexibilities for other gamer options. So, look, I, to me, 
this is exactly the response that I was kind of expecting to ultimately come from Sony, only because I... I've said before, I don't think there's going to be any change on the cross-play front as it pertains to PS4 cross-playing with like Switch and Xbox. Obviously, they already there's oh, many yeah, games right. that they play with PC. I don't think it's going to happen at all until next generation when they're behind. I don't think it's going to happen the rest of the life cycle of the PlayStation. Yeah. I you don't think they'll launch with cross-platform like going into... I feel like it's going to be a talking point at E3. You, wait, are you saying this coming? You talking about of, P, you talking about PS Five? Whenever about, they start talking about PS Five, yeah, mm. it's possible. But honestly, like the only I I only see that being a thing if they're going into the console launch already the underdog, like Which perception wise, be. or maybe because Xbox releases their console a little bit quicker than they do, or something. I don't I don't mm. think it's going to be because it. At the end of the day, like it's not quite this simple, but it's a it's like a a switch flip. You know, they just got to change some few things. I don't think it's as as big a deal as like backwards compatibility is much harder to I- implement than or changing your username. <laughs> well, that's actually probably a little bit harder than that. But that's what I'm saying. You're saying it's not a it's not as hard. You say no, but I'm saying yeah. change your name the way that their network is. I think is a harder thing for them to achieve. I, I think I think crossplay would be easier for them to turn on than changing the name, which is why they haven't that, done it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think the ship sailed for Sony already because Microsoft has it. Like they, they're already developing and working out ways to continue this because they see the need for it, and they're they're responding far faster than Sony. And Sony's going to try and play catch up, and by the time they do, they're going to be outdone by by Microsoft anyway. And this is coming mm-hmm. from a PlayStation person too. I just I they're I feel like they're reverting back to their old ways of well we're the top console we got everything under control we're good and yeah you know we're we'll listen to you but it's it's a matter I I hate that arrogance and it's just like dude listen to what your what your customers are saying to you because you're about to get buried because Microsoft's way ahead of you already hmm yep I think that uh, uh I think they're in trouble if they don't get on their horse here and by the time the PlayStation sure. 5 comes out, it's going to be too late. Like, Microsoft will already have everything in place, everything implemented. They, they party, probably already do. I think they're just praying for this um, storyline to go away. Yeah. 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 It's like they're ignoring it because they're like, ah, it'll go away. It's like, you know, it's just like how Minecraft went away for a while. And now, you know, Fortnite's this huge thing and that's going to mm-hmm. go away. But it's not. Like, it's, it's going to be around for a little bit longer and you still need to address it. Yeah. It's not going to be out until the next console launch. But it'll be out long enough to where it's going to cause a stink and continue mm-hmm. to cause a stink for them. Yep. Yeah. So I, I just there's no there's no financial reason, and and in fact, there's the opposite. There's a financial hindrance to them in doing it simply because you know somebody if for Fortnite somebody could buy all their their spend all their buy all their V bucks and buy all their cosmetics and things on play on a uh, Xbox and then boot up their PlayStation and play them there and then PS you know Sony's lost out on the money on that sale and again I've said and many people know like Sony as a company is more healthy than they had been in recent past but they're still not anywhere in the state that like Microsoft is in in terms of like financial health which is one mm-hmm. of the reasons they're going to do that so that's why they'll wait till next generation when they're looked at as the underdog and they'll make their changes to try and woo people back that mm-hmm. that'll be the case and I, I mean i feel like right but I, by then it's too late though isn't it what do you mean too late depends on it depends on the launches i mean it's true like you know Microsoft. nobody's gonna hold this uh, i don't think they'll hold this against uh, uh, it's all about the launch you just never know i would have never thought that it would have flipped to where playstation was the dominant console true and so it just shows you that's just all about the launch but it's also about the games too and the exclusives so mm-hmm. like if microsoft comes out with some banging exclusive that's cross you know that you know that all has over the place. all the bells and whistles that you need that's it like sony's done like they'll because well they're not done but they're definitely they they're playing from behind they yeah. step down yeah and microsoft takes back over so mm-hmm. I don't know. I I feel like this, there's like this arrogance again, like they had before, and that's and look what happened when that happened. So we'll see. Exactly. Yeah. You live, you learn. You love, you learn. I'm saying it. Uh, I don't know that song. <laughs> it's a little Atlantis more set. Yes. Um. Oh yeah. EA announced the VIP demo for Anthem, mm. and 
it's not coming out as early as I would have liked, considering mm-hmm. the game uh, they said is coming out on the 22nd of February, or as I like to call it, the day my bank account died. Yep. <laughs> right. The death of your um, bank account. Yes. But uh, the 1st of February, 2019. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, they'll birthday. be... There you go. They'll be launching the um, EA Origins Access uh, for EA Origins Access subscribers on Xbox One and PC, and then the pre-order people on PS4. So they said it's not going to be a tech test or a bet or a beta. Uh, looking for feedback, it's going to be the game. Wow! So uh, right. the first of February, Anthem, baby. Woo! I can't wait. <laughs> I'm doing that for sure. The demo. Because your boy, yeah, your boy love a demo. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got, Christopher? So Capcom is releasing a solid gold Mega Man figure. Is it? Yes. It's 3.2 wow. ounces of solid gold. It measures four inches tall, and it's for the low, low price of $22,000. You are kidding me. Wow. What? And Why do that? Well, because I'm assuming they know somebody will buy it. But look, I, I know what you're saying. Like twenty two thousand dollars, that's that's a lot of money for, you know, a statue that's just gonna sit on your shelf. So they thought of this and they're like, hey, there might be some people that don't want this. So <laughs> they're <laughs> also releasing a two point three inch solid gold statue that's only six thousand two hundred and twenty seven dollars. So there, you, you can get the cheaper version and that's the one you can put on your shelf. Did you say Mega Man? Mega Man. Oh, huh. or Rockman, as it says on the on the statue, because it's for the thirtieth anniversary. Because I think that hmm. was what he was originally called, right? When he when uh, when uh, the Japan release, I think. I I'll take know. the Everybody three inch plastic one for five dollars, please. <laughs> that, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. the crazy thing is Alec. like you know there's going to be like an amiibo version of this. It's like what twenty dollars or something. So I'll just wait. Yeah, I I on a a whim and a website fl- glitch mm-hmm. got. A little Mega Man thing for free. So, uh, oh yeah, the helmet yeah. thing. Is that what you're yeah, the little, yeah, the little helmet <laughs> thing. Have you ever put it on? Yeah. No. Right. On my head. Yeah. No, it's real little. Oh, it's not the one that you can actually wear because they made a bigger one you could actually put on your head. Yes, <laughs> I saw those all over packs. Yes. And uh, no to that. Still, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. And that's a big <laughs> negatory. Now, if they did have, or if I would have found a really cool like motorcycle helmet, that was Mega Man themed? I would have done that. Mm. But not this not the the play cosplay one. It's huge. <laughs> and you look like a bobo walking around. <laughs> a what if the Mega Man helmet also had a, a fake headset on it with a boom mic? Would you wear that one on your motorcycle? No, I don't do All boom right. mics, man. I don't do boom mics. <laughs> <laughs> you boy love a demo. I hate a boom mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Konami Digital Entertainment has teamed up with Tokyo Mystery Circus. Mm-hmm. A facility in Kabukicho. Oh yeah, Tokyo. Oh, yeah. Wait, where where is it going to be? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> uh, I just clicked off it. Um, but it's kind of like an escape room game type thing. But you get to play as Snake. Oh. And uh, so Ooh. I thought, Chris, next time you're in Japan, you so should go you, do Chris. this. Um. Yep, the next time I'm in Japan. <laughs> the next yeah, time you're in Japan. <laughs> the Metal Gear Solid themed infiltration event. Konnichiwa, wow, so. McCracken. <laughs> yeah. Um, players take up the mantle of Snake and attempt to sneak their way through the obstacles without alerting any guards and destroy the secret Metal Gear weapon. Mm. Uh, teams of up to three can work together. <laughs> I call being quiet. But you can only have 45 minutes. So you won't wear a Mega Man helmet, but you wear that. I mean, it's less to wear, you know? Can I be the German Shepherd? (laughs) Sure. Um, So anyway, I thought that was really cool. I saw that. I was like, oh, man, next time Chris is in Japan, he needs to go do that. So he can freaking be Snake. Right. Be awesome. I'd totally do it. I know you would. Uh, What else you got? Uh, the last thing that I have is it looks like the Battlefield 5 beta on PC is going to include a profanity filter for chat. Mm. 
Ooh, that, how does that nice. work? Yeah, I, oh, I for don't... written chat. No, well, no, they, they say it's for voice chat. What? So I, I really the thing is that they Come don't have on. a lot of they don't have a lot of specifics on here. So my guess is that what it's going to do is if it detects it, it just mutes the player completely. That's my assumption. I doubt it's going to like just mute out the words because I have no idea how that would work. Now it's obviously and only going to be available here, on the PC side. It's not going to be available on the Xbox or PlayStation at all. But I thought like, hey, I mean, I guess that's one way to handle toxicity in chat if you're going to do something. In what languages? It's going to be, uh, I, well, I think it's only English, at least at the moment. Uh, but I don't know for sure. It doesn't specify. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's one less thing you have to do, so then you don't have to go toggle a switch. And it's going to be something you have to opt into, as I understand it as well. It's not going to be on by default. But still, it's like, huh, okay, do you, do your bad right. self if you can do yeah. that. Yeah, have at it. There's no way that works. I mean, they're <laughs> saying that it does. There's no way. And it's supposedly, it's not pertaining to anything like, so obviously you can do, um, I'm assuming in the beta because they mentioned it here, but you can do like story stuff and uh, it doesn't mute chat like if there's profanity in a game. It's only in like. Oh yeah, let's not mute that. Chat. Yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> Try to mute this random 12 year old that's yelling in the background. That's what he's trying to do. Mm. Uh, Eduardo. Yes. What you got for us? Well, uh, last week, right after we recorded, they released the PlayStation free games for the month of September. Oh, that's up, right, those sneaky dogs. Uh, we've got, of course, the reason why I played Destiny 2. Destiny 2 is free this month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God of War 3 Remastered, which I downloaded and am excited to uh, see what that's about. Really? Yeah. Yeah, Good. I was talking to Chris about it, and he said it's uh, quite different from the the recent one that I'm used to, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, looking to jump in there and, and, and do some hack and slash and see what happens there. There you go. Uh, another World 20th Anniversary Edition. Cube Director's Cut. <laughs> Sparkle 2. And Foul Play. And also remember Spider-Man out this week. So. <laughs> hey! So forget oh about the other games we can do. Yes, but uh, Destiny Two and God of War Three—that's pretty good. I can't uh, can't complain about those. Uh, Destiny Two is a big one. Obviously, you know they're trying to get ready for the Forsaken, but right. Um, it 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 was good and sad, if that makes sense. <laughs> because it's still pretty new. Well, yeah, and you just feel like Destiny Two didn't quite do what they wanted it to. Yeah, yeah. It you definitely know wasn't the first Destiny by any means. Yeah. And maybe they gave away the first Destiny for free, too, and I just don't remember. Mm -hmm. but I don't remember if they did. Maybe Thank they you. Did. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think they did. <laughs> but you don't remember a lot of things, Chris. That's true. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> very that. true. <laughs> uh, oh, new on funny. YouTube this week. Married to the Games Hot Ones Challenge number two with Gabe. Yeah. Go check that mm. out if you want to see angry Gabe. Oh, <laughs> so, so bad. many delightful screenshotable moments in that video. <laughs> I know Josh Stapleton made a gift that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, go, it, you guys should go over to our Twitter real quick and just look at it. It's really funny. So funny. So funny. Also new this week, uh, des trying Destiny 2 for the first time and trying Fortnite for the first time. And so uh, you can check out the, the YouTube videos, the top 10 YouTube videos this week, combining the average watch time and views for the week of August 28th through September 3rd. Mm -hmm. Number 10, Married to the Games, Episode 311, Don't Naruto My Baruto. Hey! There you go. Number 9. Why don't you do that? Hugh Part 8, Green. Number mm. 8. Peeking its head out and looking around. Gabe and Chris react to The Last of Us Part 2. <laughs> Never gonna give you up! That's right. <laughs> Number seven, Hugh Part 9, Mountains. Number six, Ori in the Blind Forest Part 14, Thornfelt Swamp. That's right. Number five, Hugh Part 7, Yellow. Number four, Hugh Part 4, Pink. Number three, Hugh Part 10, University. Number two, Watch Dogs 2, Part 19, Paint Job. And number one, Hugh, part 11, the ending. Jeez. We all need to probably add a, uh, we probably all need to play a puzzle game and put it on YouTube just so Try to we get, can get some diversity right? up in that thing. Exactly. All right, everyone, 
grab a different puzzle game this week. Gabe plays the witness. <laughs> you have your. Oh <laughs> yes. dang! I'm out of internet. I can't download anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of internet. <laughs> Jeez. I've reached my antenna cap. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh my gosh. Your low internet light is blinking. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, every week we ask you guys a question. Last week was no different. Thanks, Eduardo. You bet. By the way. Is there a game type that you're naturally good at? Over on Twitter, we have the lone answer from Gerald Schneider II at Hof Schnoop. Minecraft is mine. Minecraft wow. is mine. Mm. Good on you. Yes, God bless you. Over on Facebook, Alex Van Aken, I've always been pretty good at first-person shooter multiplayer games. I used to compete in Halo and Call of Duty tournaments, and mm. while I'm definitely no longer skilled enough to do that, I'm still decent at those games and mechanics. Nice. That makes sense. Nice. Jeff Swan, music games. Having been a drummer just as long as I've been a gamer, the two go hand in hand. Mm. DDR, Rock Band, and Guitar Hero are all well and good, but I love me some Amplitude and other control-based music games. Nice. Man, remember 2007 through 2009 where you couldn't walk into a retail store without seeing massive Rock Band or Guitar Hero boxes everywhere? Yep. Mm -hmm. Crazy and sad that the genre is completely dead now. Yeah, it is. Mm. It is sad. Mm. Mike Doherty, real-time strategy games. Warcraft 3 was my jam in college. Made a made top 500 in Battle.net in the U.S. Also, I married way out of my league. So, you know, I got game. Hey. <laughs> nice. nice. Nice shout out. Scott Clark. Wah, wah, wah. Pinball. Every ever since I he put every since I was a kid, ever since I was a kid, <laughs> you gotta I correct had, him. Yeah, exactly. He's the teacher. Hello, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My, my my kid ain't going there. Grammar. <laughs> He's like, I know. I've been looking for y'all. I've been looking for y'all every all over the place. Okay. <laughs> that happens um, every time I try to write something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ever since I was a kid, I had a knack for the silver ball. And I don't know why. That translated to the digital versions in the Pinball FX series. I'm not saying I'm the best in the world, but I've definitely put a lot of time into it. At one point, I had a high score in the top 100 in the world on one particular table. Nice. I'm not saying I'm the best in the world, but I am in the top 100 in the world. <laughs> yeah, <Nice>. exactly. <laughs> so he can't say he's the best. That's right. <laughs> Warren Skinner. If by good you mean can beat the average player, I would say fighting games. Mm. I used to get demolished by my brothers so much in them, I spent many hours trying to be, be better than him. The result ended up being I can beat all my other friends but him. <laughs> nice. That's so funny. Can I tell you guys a quick pack story yeah, while we're please. here? Go for Talking it. about fighting games. So last year, they had the Marvel vs. Capcom game set up at PAX, mm -hmm. and... Toby, for some reason, would button mash that game and beat Moses, right? Mm -hmm. And it used to get Moses so mad because he's losing in a video game to his dad. His dad doesn't play video games. This year, they had Street Fighter V set up, and Moses is just wiping the floor with Toby. It's not even close. Like, <laughs> awesome. You know, he, he beating him every, you know, maybe Toby gets a round in there, but every game he's, he's winning. Mm -hmm. And so we go to this one area where you can sit down and play console games, and we saw that they had uh, Street Fighter V set up. And so Moses is like, Dad, you want some more? And he's like, sure. So they go over there, again, just demolishing him, demolishing him. Stancil looks over at me. He goes, I'm going to go get another controller. You switch it out with Toby's. And I was like, okay, because I'm not great at fighting games, but like, you know, if you played enough Street Fighter 2, then you're kind of good at all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so T Stancil goes and gets another controller, gives it to me, and he like distracts Moses real quick, and I switch controllers with Toby. Oh, no. And so I'm standing behind Toby. We lose that first game because Toby was already losing. Like, his life was all the way down already. So he starts up the next one. I beat him, right? <laughs> and... <laughs> but he thinks it's his dad. That and is so awesome. Toby's like, hey, you want to put $5 on this next one? And Moses is like, no. And he's like, come on, man, let's put $5 on it. He's like, no, <laughs> we need to put $40 on it. Nice. Jeez. Oh, 
I spank him. He didn't even win a round, right? That's it's amazing. Better, best out of five. And um, and so we we went, and he's like, "No, how does this happen? No, right?" And so he uh, <laughs> so good. He um, Toby's like double or nothing, and he's like, "No, I'm not doing that." And he's like, "Come on, you need to do double or nothing." He's like, "Fine, eighty dollars." <laughs> Just <laughs> wax the floor with him. It's not even close. <laughs> and so, it, brilliant Moses gets dude, frustrated, drops the controller and starts rolling away in his wheelchair. We're like, whoa, 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 whoa. He's like, this is just so stupid. Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, hey, hey. And I was like, and I started holding up the controller that was actually lit up because the one Toby's <laughs> having is not lit up. And he was like, oh, you guys are the worst. That's awesome. It was so great. Well so done, great. man. Good job. Yes, yes. Yeah, it was so funny. That's Good perfect. idea from Stan. So we pulled it off perfectly. That's perfect. Um, over on Discord, we're talking about uh, <laughs> game types that you're naturally good at, just in case you forgot. Uh, we got Arctic Warlocks. He said, why, yes. Does thumb wrestling count against my kids? Yay. Kind of. Nova Beyond, sports games. You put a baseball, football, basketball, golf, wrestling, rugby game in front of me, then, oh, it's on. I don't mm. know what it is, but I understand them. Maybe... It's because I've been playing them for 30 years with my brother and we're super competitive against each other. Nice. I know that's right. That would definitely be the reason, yes. Bad Gamer Elite, he said, no, uh, nope. Well, maybe, nope. That's how I got my name. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Jared Orr, I seem to be pretty good at tough combat heavy action games, starting with Kingdom Hearts and now games like Dark Souls and Dead Cells. It seems like I have less trouble beating them than other people. Nice. Oh, All right. nice. Yeah, there you go. Thank you guys so much uh, for the answers. You know where to find us. Facebook.com slash Married to the Games. Twitter.com slash MTTG cast. Married to the Games.com. Come check out, check out the store over there. Get yourself a shirt. Get yourself a mug. Things like that. Like Ed said, YouTube.com slash Married to the Games. On Patreon at Patreon.com. Slash MTTG if you want to support the show and uh, getting that extra life team together. Extra Get life. the team back together. Extra dash <laughs> life dot org slash team slash MTTG. I think I have to do mine early this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, because Toby, we had a tour set for October, hmm. but Toby and I think his wife, I want to say are like celebrating 25 years or something like that. And so they um they're doing they they moved our tour from October to November. Mm. And November oh. is when Extra Life is. So I'll actually be on the road hmm. on the actual day, which I think is like the you know, November eighth, something like that. Yeah, it's yeah. So this I'm gonna have to do mine in October sometime. So y'all be looking oh, nice. out for your boy and be raising money do for the Do we want to just churns. move our whole thing to October? All of us? It's up to you guys. It's up to you guys. Yeah. I mean, that's fine with me. I like it. List they have chain. a whole MTTG day. Mm. Oh, that'd be fun. It'd have to be I later in October because, you know, I'll be jet setting. <laughs> 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 I'll be in Hawaii. With my 20-year bride, yes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not 20 years old. I was just just to clear that up for everybody. <laughs> nope. Yes, married for 20 years. Right, married for right. 20 years. Let's mm -hmm. get that straight. No Alec Her. Baldwin exactly. on this piece. No Alec Baldwin. <laughs> no Woody Allen. No Woody here. Allen up in here either. <laughs> Can we keep going? Nope. Um, good. <laughs> and uh, Christopher. So we all know that Netflix is doing a Witcher series. <laughs> <laughs> and you should rate us on iTunes so that maybe we can get Henry Cavill to play Geralt. <laughs> <laughs> Geralt. 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 I love it. <laughs> Whatever. That was good. good job. Chris, that was brilliant. That I never made to Skellige, so. <laughs> 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 Well, let's get into some questions. Let's, shall we? And we're going to start with Discord. We're going to start with Calm Fury. Your favorite open world developer decided to make a game set in your hometown. <laughs> good, oh, good luck, Ed. <laughs> Who is the developer, and what are some of the highlights from your hometown that would have to be included in the game? Again, yeah. good luck, Ed. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, is, would have Gabe, to be isn't your hometown San Francisco, and there's already been games done there? Wouldn't, is, it, it, so, 
it's hard because some people uh-huh. say because I've lived in Nashville for so long, I have to claim Nashville. Uh-huh. Yeah. But I was born in California and spent the first 10 years of my life there. And so it's up in the air. But yes, games have been uh, made like Rush 2049. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, wasn't it was uh, the what was it the hacking game the part two version? What the heck yeah, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs too. Watch yeah. Dogs. Yeah, that was San Francisco, wasn't it? The mm-hmm. hacking. Yep. Game. I, mine is still in the cellophane. I have no idea. Mine is yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, I want to play it though. Um, I think honestly, our Franklin would be kind of cool to do a. I want a developer and civil Ubisoft War, could baby. do this. Could do a Civil War game. I think, and mm-hmm. it should be an Assassin's Creed Civil War game. I think it would be amazing. Let's kill ourselves some Confederates. It's, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, you could have Carton Plantation as like one of your, you can have Carton Plantation as like a, uh, one of, it could be a, either a home base or it could mm-hmm. be, you know, it, it's definitely a side mission or something. There's, yeah, there's all kinds of places. Carton. There's the jails around here. I mean, yeah, there's the so jails, much history. Carter with, House, Lots House, yeah. like all these mm-hmm. different, all these different places. And then, historical spots yeah so i think man that would be really really cool yeah mm-hmm. they could just take fmv from the you know the reenactments that happen around here mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go yeah <laughs> done <laughs> yeah that's the opening cut scene of a bunch of <laughs> old white guys running around shooting you can fake unlock guns at a storyline that's just ed and trying to find ghosts yeah yeah, yeah exactly in Auburn, the Indiana, yeah. luigi flashlight mm-hmm. yep perfect crossplay Mm-hmm. But it's just audio logs of them getting freaked out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> From the future. Yeah. What say you, Ed? Your hometown. Uh, we had such a it's such a small, tiny little hometown. But growing up as kids, we had what I called Goonie adventures. We would go out into like empty fields and forests Heck yes. and explore. That's- Perfect. So I, I would love have that. like night school studio who did oxen free. Maybe they could come up with a little put a creepy twist on it and, and something or other. Like children, I like that. Children of the corn. Children four, of the corn. Or whatever. Four. Yeah. Tim, we should say Betsedia, right? Should come do ours? Betsedia? Our open world game? Yeah, mm-hmm. pro- probably. All right. I'm down. Chris? Dallas, Texas. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it has to be open world, right? That's what was kind of like the one stipulation. Yep. So I guess what it, right. but it would be similar to like a sim game where you could either – Buy a corporation and then just build a set up here. Oh. And then you could like bring in all the people from around or you could start, you know, drilling for oil. You just pick a vocation and then just do it and just <laughs> Yeah, you could just bigger be drunk 24-7 you and could become do your freeways. a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. You could if that's what you want to do. Any job you want. It can happen mm-hmm. here. In Dallas, Texas. In Dallas, Texas. In D-Town. Mm-hmm. The Windy City. No. (laughs) (laughs) The city that never sleeps. The Big Apple. Dallas, Texas, the Big Apple. The Volunteer City. The Volunteer City. The Big Easy. (laughs) The Big Easy. (laughs) Oh, it's awesome. Bienvenido a Miami. (laughs) Bienvenido a Dallas, Texas. (laughs) Great question, Calm Fury. Thanks for that. That was awesome. Uh, Jared, or what are some of your favorite little moments in games? For for some examples, I love the sound and feel of getting a headshot in Overwatch. The ground mm. smash in Dead Cells just feels good. And my all-time favorite is when you perfectly time a parry in Bloodborne, leading to an instant kill. Ooh, very nice. Ah, Those nice. are hard to do. Favorite mm, little moments imagine. in games? Oh, wow. that's a great question, yeah, Jared, or... Um, because I feel like I have a lot of them. I, I love the big cinematic cinematic moments in any Call of Duty mm-hmm. game. Oh, nice. I don't know if that's little. I don't know if that's considered little, but it's like little in comparison to the story. Yeah. You know, when you're just doing that one part where you're like in a boat and there's buildings falling all around you or something like that. I love that. Um, I really loved getting the what you had to do to get the Master Sword in Zelda. Hmm. That was a little part of that game that I really enjoyed and it turned the whole game around for me, like right around there, getting the Master Sword, um, talking to that tree. I don't know, Edward? <laughs> um, you know in the Telltale games, when the little thing pops up and they say, so-and-so will remember that? Yep. Yeah. I like when they play on that and like someone gets knocked out and they say, so-and-so won't remember that. I just <laughs> like that. Oh, nice. Those little and they had, some, they had some good ones in the new one, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't specifically remember what they were, but they like to play yeah. around with that every once in a while. Yeah, I like that. That's funny. Christopher, um, do you remember story, the question? 
Yeah. <laughs> in story <laughs> games, um, I just like moments where it's unexpected vulnerability from a character. So like mm. for God of War in particular, there were a lot of moments where Kratos would just like his voice would dip and he would just, his tone would change a little bit and you could see a little hint mm. of vulnerability there. I like yeah, moments nice. like that that take you by surprise. That's um, dope. Mm -hmm. And then in typically in other games, like uh, multiplayer games or whatnot, it just tends to be something combat related and it's different for everyone. Like I really like getting certain kills in, in, uh, in Overwatch as well. Like nailing a good headshot in almost any game is very rewarding, especially yeah. when it tells you it's like boom oh, yeah. headshot, you know, mm -hmm. or something like Except that. Except like, in yeah. Overwatch, I feel like in Overwatch is the least of all the games. Well, it's just because you're jaded. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, because you when you play Call of Duty, where it's like almost an kill, you're like, man, this game does not respect the headshot. It, it doesn't. Like, it's like ting 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 ting. I'm like, what, eight headshots, really eight? <laughs> Ridiculous. He's a tank, man. He's a really big guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a tank. You had to play as Junkrat more often. Yeah. yeah, yeah everything is fun. a headshot. <laughs> That's funny. Mine, uh, mine would definitely be just any little twist in the story. I remember um, Dishonored, when the first time I played it, there's a great twist in there that kind of, you think that like, okay, we're getting close to maybe some sort of closure and then boom there's a huge twist and then it just carries on the game i love that kind of stuff hmm. mm. and, then, and then obviously my little handheld rocket uh grenade launcher in far cry being able to just oh, blow yeah. up blow up anything and everything especially the uh uh the jeeps and that kind of stuff so it's it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i like it stuff yep that was a good question bad gamer elite that lemon uh oh guy. My daughter will be going to Bible school in Sweden next week for six months. All wow. our prayers and blessings Yikes. of safety and wisdom are welcome. What advice yes. would you give her for this next adventure? What advice would you give my wife, who is a nervous wreck? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, I, I love that you're taking this step and giving her that independence and that freedom. Yes, it's far away. and uh, But, you know, I... I kind of embrace this. I think this is great. She's going to mm -hmm. learn a lot. I think uh, just tell her to use common sense in a lot of situations and, uh, you know, a, a, associate and affiliate with yourself with good people around you as well. And, yeah. Um, yeah, I think this is going to be good for her. This is a great thing for her. Mm -hmm. You know, for me growing up, like my parents gave me a lot of independence because they trusted me. And as long as I, you know, if there were issues where I was out late or whatever, I, you know, I would contact them and let them know, Hey, I'm running late. I'm, you know, I wasn't a bad kid that way. And they trusted me. And because of that, they gave me a ton of in independence and I could have been a real turd of a kid if I wanted to be, but mm -hmm. I wanted to, you know, respect the, respect the space that they gave me and the independence they gave me. And that man, that went a long way for me in mm. just learning and just being, you know, being able to figure things out on my own as well, because at yeah. some point yeah. it's going to happen anyway. That's right. I would say, uh, tell her, uh, when in doubt, go home, like oh, go. back to your apartment or wherever you're staying. Mm -hmm. I like, that. like if you feel a, a funny feeling, just go home. Yep. You just get out of there. I like that. I like that. And, and for your wife, uh, when in doubt, pray. Yeah, there you, go. you know what I'm saying. I love you got that. funny. You know, you can't do anything else when you're mm -hmm. halfway across the world uh, than that. And uh, you know, don't smother her, but you know, communicating's good. You know, it's gonna feel like over communicating at some points, but uh, you know, they both got to know that this is very new for both of them. And so, mm -hmm. uh, as your daughter's feeling extreme independence, and your wife is feeling like she's losing a leg, um, you know, she's gonna want to talk to her. And so, just to have patience with each other while they figure out uh, this new normal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Christopher? <laughs> Man, I don't really know what to... I, I don't, <laughs> honestly, I don't really know. How old is she again, the, the daughter? You gotta be 18, 19? Yeah, she gotta be college age, like yeah. I mean, that's gotta be, from a parent's perspective, I totally, even though I'm not one, that I understand that completely. Like, I... That's just gotta be crazy to be like, all right, not only are you, like, going out, but you're gonna be gone for six months in a whole nother continent, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, like, that's... that's right. But you do, at the same time, you just got to trust, I feel like. You probably got to trust that, you know, you raise them right and that they're going to do make the yeah. right decisions. I, you definitely should, like, check in and see how they're doing and, and keep up with them and let them know that you love them and all that kind of stuff. But mm -hmm. you just need to trust that you did a good job as a parent. 
So, That's right. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you have some reason to believe otherwise, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I would just trust that and trust yourself and, and then just, you know, like Gabe said, pray and, and just FaceTime a lot or Skype or whatever your way of doing exactly. that is. Mm -hmm. Get, get That's a good right. international plan, <laughs> international yes, data plan. Yeah. Yeah. You don't run out of data like me. Can't play those puzzle games. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Chris is out. He's empty. The internet is on E. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Ed, anything? Uh, I would, uh, to the daughter, I would just say uh, as much as you can meet and get to know the locals and just find yeah. out who they are as people and mm. what their lives are, are like and where they're, you know, who they come from and, and just get to know different people. Um, yeah. And then to Lem's wife, I mean, yeah, your 18, 19 year old daughter is leaving for six months. But on the other hand, your 18, 19 year old daughter is leaving for six months. Enjoy yeah. that. You know, yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, definitely yeah, exactly. what the other guy said. But at the same time, yeah, 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 yeah have a good time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. Be safe. That's funny. Really great. Congrats, Lem, and uh, definitely will, prayers for your daughter as well. Mm -hmm. And I think she's going to have a great time. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It's bundle up in Sweden. It's going to be cold. <laughs> yeah, boy. So it's all good. All right, moving on to Facebook. Daniel, hi. What's your favorite movie monologue? I really like the Liam Neeson monologue in Taken. Ooh, nice. Um, what whatever his name is, the president in uh, Independence Day. Oh, oh yeah, Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. Bill Pullman. I love yeah, that. That thing gets me hype. Like yep. if I had an album, I'd want to put it at the beginning of it. Nice. Under some freaking hip hop beats. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going William Wallace Braveheart with Ooh, the nice. They'll Never Take Our Freedom. That's yeah, a good one. That's a good one. Mm. I don't know if I've ever seen Braveheart all the way through. What? That's like three hours, <laughs> dude. Come on, man. I know. <laughs> man, you need to get on it. Is it that good? Yes. It's, good. it's really good. Mm. You need mm. to watch that, and then, uh, then Tim, you need to watch Schindler's List. <laughs> I need to watch what? <laughs> the, the Matrix, Matrix again. again. The Matrix again. No, I ain't watching that. That's funny. Ed? The first thing I thought of was Samuel L. Jackson's Ezekiel 25, 17. Oh, from Pulp Fiction. well played. Yes, that's a good Gosh. one. That is good. I like Which it. Which is not. Uh, that Bible verse. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> At all. Yeah, it's pretty funny. And it's uh, not the NIV version either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's the, the, the international Quentin Tarantino version. Exactly. exactly. Yes. Exactly. Oh, that's really good. Uh, and got, I will rain down on you. <laughs> that's right. That's so I'm going to awesome. go with um, Aragorn's speech outside of the Black Gate and the Return of the King. Oh yeah, oh, that's good. Oh, is that Lord of the Rings? That's yeah. good. Good one, Chris. This day like we fight. Yeah, I like yep. that one. That's a yeah, good one. That's very good. What good movies? I love those movies. I yeah. cannot get Jenny to watch those things. Oh at no, all. Oh, I yeah. can never get Lauren to watch them either. I just sit there and watch them. She's like, "What are you watching?" I'm like, "It's Lord of the Rings." She's like, "All right, oh. fun nerd." So. <laughs> I will. Yes, go nice. make your balloons. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, go do your. Don't you got a balloon install to do? <laughs> don't you have a balloon to blow up? <laughs> Golly. Don't you have some sticks uh, to spray paint white? Exactly. Exactly, Ed. Thank you. Thank That's you. Really Thank you. I love that. I love that. Uh, All right, uh, Mike uh, Peacock. What weird things do you collect besides game? Of course. I'm 45 with three kids, and I have a huge Funko Pop collection. <laughs> uh, collect. I, I don't collect anything. I don't either. I want to. Mm -hmm. I just, I can't find something. Yeah, uh-uh. Nah, I, I got nothing. I don't really collect any one thing a lot. I mean, I have some collector stuff, and I have, you know, some video game stuff, but I don't have, like, one thing that's like, this is the thing I collect. I don't really have that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't Gosh. think I did, and I look over and I see like shelves full of Lego Dimensions characters. Ah, yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, there you go. I guess I do, but I don't like intentionally say I'm a collector of. Yeah, um, I think I'm a collector of HDMI cords. Yeah, yes. me too. <laughs> me, oh, yeah, you were gonna send me some. Things. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> oh, sheesh, Louise. Oh, that's I forgot funny. About that. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Travis Pospisil, do you have any tattoos? If so, what of? 
Nope. Nope. I'm a no ink rebel here. What up? I have a huge tattoo of Ed on my back. <laughs> yeah. A with, huge w- with wings. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. It says angel above it. Yeah, he has <laughs> a, it's a in old it's English a, script, and it actually says angle. It's a griffin with Piper's face. That's right. Piper's topic of the week is griffins. Griffin tattoo. This is my back yeah. tattoo. <laughs> Do you have any tattoos, Tim? No, I don't. I kind of want one. Wow. I have, I have no idea what I would want on. Like that's the thing. Like I'm not going tribal. I'm not. I, it might be just like yeah. Warren and Piper's name in some sort of a script. But I don't know yeah. where. Or what about their picture, like across your left peck? Their faces. Mm. There you go. Oh man. And then I'll just might as well just get a tribal tattoo on my arm too, and be like, "Come at me, bro." Exactly. No, get some. You know what wire. I've always really liked the look of. <laughs> I really like the look of. Uh, like if I did my kids' names, I think I would. Hopefully, this isn't offensive. If this is offensive, I'm really sorry. Uh oh. Um, but I always really liked the pattern of Braille, like what Braille looks like. Mm-hmm. And so if I were to get their names, I would probably get the dots in the in, in cool Braille. Idea. But then yeah. couldn't you also like do the the branding iron thing and make it to where they're actual bumps where you could touch them? No, I'm not doing Ooh. that. Come on now. Oh. You crazy? I mean, if I I'm barely made it through the hot sauce. It, if I'm going to do it, you should commit. That's all I'm saying. Mm-mm-mm. That's a good idea. I don't Chris. need an actual blind person to be able to read it on my arm. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> this tattoo is for the scene. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I've always wanted one. I just... I never know what I would get, though. It's like I'd have to go in and just be like, all right, this is what I'm thinking. I did ask, yeah, I did ask Stancil to make me the original Nintendo controller, but just the drop shadow art of it. Mm. And I would probably do that, but he's never done it, so I still don't have a tattoo. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Wow. Mm. All right, Ma- Matthew Serta, which Spider Man is your Spidey? Toby? Andrew, Tom Holland, or the guy who voiced him in the cartoons of your Oh, youth. that guy, number one. And then Tom, then Toby, then Andrew. Then Andrew, yeah. I think that's my, that's my list, too. Chris? Uh, I'll just say Tom. I tend to be, you know, like, whatever is the latest tends to be the one I like the most. Whatever he the is, default is. He's pretty perfect. I saw, I saw Homecoming the other day, and I was like, man, he's right? really good Right? Isn't this. it good? He's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Really I don't honestly it. remember the cartoon voice, like what it even sounds like. I, and I never either. saw the Andrew Garfield ones, so I did not like him as Peter Parker. Mm. No. What say no. you, Edward? I even even Toby, I didn't really like very much, but he was like the original. Yeah, the bring back uh-huh. Spider Man the movie. Like, so I'm like, you, you got to give him some credit. But yeah, I'm like, yeah, I, I liked he, his Tom's. Per- Tom Holland. Is Tom Holland perfect. is pretty perfect. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember, like Chris. I don't remember the. The, the what the cartoon sounded like although we watched it every day um but then yeah pretty yeah. much the same tom holland and then toby and then andrew garfield mm-hmm nice awesome brian nebel are there any old games you've played a million times over the years and surprised yourself by finding secret rooms or treasures or whatever you knew you never knew existed for me i've played super mario world snes and Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in 64 so many times, and yet I know there's still secrets for me to find. I love complex games like that. Don't you? Nope. <laughs> yeah. Hate them. And done. Uh, yeah. I don't replay games. Hate them. Yeah, uh, I don't. Just like I don't usually rewatch movies. So, hmm. I don't know what that is about the about me but i don't yeah i don't, I don't replay games much no you you're a mover honored it's like okay we've yep. got that it's like, processed. yeah I'm like good. i'll never I've play god of war again or anything on. like that you know yeah see i would play that again uh, ed i i liked yeah, replaying yeah, quantum break uh just because you know you could do one thing like move a coffee cup in your game and then the little cutscene that would play that would change just due to that coffee cup. And so that was kind of cool to go back and really? find those things. But I do like reading the articles about, you know, after 20 years, they found this secret or whatever. Yeah. I do like reading that kind of stuff, although I really haven't found anything like that. Right. That that much later on. Mm-hmm. Tim? No, I got nothing. <laughs> Chris? <laughs> I don't replay a ton of games either. I will replay games. Like, I replayed The Last of Us. I replayed um, Uncharted. I replayed... 
I'm going to replay God of War. I've replayed Metal Gear Solid, the original one, numerous times. Um, but I, I don't tend to play a ton of games where there's a, that at least that I know I'm aware of that there's a bunch of secrets. Like I didn't mm-hmm. do, I never replayed or didn't replay Mario often outside of just, you know, when it was the only game I had, I didn't yeah. play, replay Zelda or any of those things, which games that notoriously have, you know, all these different secrets you can find and stuff. I just never really cared about those. So I haven't gone back and found something, but I'm, I'm with Ed. I, I totally love seeing when those articles come up and be like, nobody ever found this. It's been 20 years later kind of thing. That's always mm-hmm. cool, but yeah. I'm not going to be the one searching for that stuff. <laughs> right. No, sir. You know, I will take that back, Chris, because you actually raised a good point. Like I played The Last of Us Remastered and I, you know, I remember the first time playing it and like the memories I had and then playing it again. Like I still remember those moments, but then there were also other moments. I'm like, oh man, I totally forgot about that. Mm. I really mm-hmm. enjoyed that part of it as well. And I remember I did play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood again, just because I loved that one. But I'm not, I'm not necessarily doing it to to find something. It might just be more of a nostalgia thing for me, or like I just really enjoy these games. Like I have the Nathan Drake yeah. collection. I need to play it because I want to go back. Uncharted Two was the first game I ever played, and so I, I'd love to go back and, and play that one again. Hmm. Uh, it's just a matter of. You know, there's so many games coming out soon. Like I'm, I'm focusing on the now versus what's already been. I'm, uh, I'm that way like you are, Gabe, too. So it's like, do I, I want to? But will I get to it? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, good stuff. Good question. Mm-hmm. So you don't replay anything, Gabe, like ever, or just? No, 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 no. It's not that. It's just oh. I, I don't make a habit of oh, yeah, replaying yeah. games. Like I've, you know, I've replayed Pilot Wings and Super mm-hmm. Mario World and. Uh, Super Mario Brothers and, you know, but like I would never I think you'd be really hard pressed to hear me finish like a single player campaign and go back and do it. I'm not going to play Bioshock Infinite again or Last of Us again or, you know, Tomb Raider again. Like I just I just you didn't I don't play like that. Bioshock or Last of Us twice. For some reason, I just figured you did. Uh uh-uh, oh, wow. once. Oh, I played those twice. I wrote a song about it. Yeah, you did. Darn tootin' mm. you did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Sherry Crow, Mama Bread fan. Here we go. Oh, Good sorry. early morning, gentlemen. Do you ever experience insomnia? If you do, what do you do to get yourself back to sleep? Hashtag asking for a friend. Hashtag I'm up at 1 a.m. typing this. Hashtag been mm. happening a lot lately. Mm. Oh, <laughs> nice. no. Happening a lot lately. Mm. Uh, I've definitely had those nights where I'm just staring at the ceiling. Um, I hate that. Ugh. I know. I don't have any good tricks uh, for you. I wish I did. The best trick I have is getting up and getting some cereal. Oh yeah, ooh! And like Wait, what your kind? Stomach something to do. I don't know. Whatever the kids are having. Nice. Mm-hmm. Whatever the kids are having these days. Exactly. Chris, you have any things for your mama? No, I rarely have nights where I can't fall asleep at all. It's more about I just have trouble staying asleep. I tend to wake up a bunch. Um, mm. So. Ah, uh, man, I don't, I know a lot. So a lot of people just swear by reading a book or reading something. But the thing mm-hmm. is that if I know my mom, she's probably tried that and it's obviously not working. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe have a little bit of wine. See what that gets oh, you. Oh, there you go. Hey, <laughs> hey yo. <laughs> you never know. Hey, yo. Uh, <laughs> if, if I'm tossing and turning, I will get up and then go play games. Seriously, uh, either that or like if it's if I'm tossing and turning about something like, oh, man, I got to do this, this and this. I'll go and just get up and do some work and do it. Mm-hmm. But most especially if it's on the weekend and I'm just like tossing and turning, I'll just get up and go upstairs and play games for a little bit. And honestly, that kind of that kind of relaxes me a little bit more. And mm-hmm. within like an hour or, or or so, I'm ready to go back to bed. Mm-hmm. There you go. Edward. All right. Here you go. All right, let's hear it. I just read this in an article like three days ago, so that's kind of funny. And I I tried the last couple nights, and it it seems to work. Uh, One thing they recommended was starting at your feet, like squeeze your toes really tight for like three or four seconds and then release. And then like squeeze your calves really tight for a few seconds and then just work your way up your body. And like, so you eventually like are squeezing every muscle and then release. And it kind of really relaxes you. Huh. Uh, and you're also sweaty. You're but. also sweaty. <laughs> you're yeah. also breathing heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and then they said to picture yourself, depending on which one feels more comfortable, either like you're laying in a cocoon, not a cocoon, a canoe, uh, like you're sailing down a really smooth river, or picture yourself in a uh, like a black velvet velvet hammock in a dark Ooh. room. 
Uh, And then they said, and when I read this, I was like, that's, that can't work. And I actually, it does work uh, for like 10 seconds. Just say over and over to your mind, in your mind, don't think, don't think, don't. And it's surprising how much just that relaxes me. So maybe. You know what's funny? I do that when I have to go to the bathroom. Don't think. If I have to, no, but if I have to, <laughs> if I have to go really bad, I go, I don't have to go. I don't have to go. I don't have oh, to go. Nice. And Are you it serious? actually really subsides the, the need. <laughs> Wow. I just go. All right. I just so go. I, I just. I'm not no, I'm saying like go. if you're in a, if you're in the car or something like that, oh, you can't God. just go. Like if you're on, on stage, I don't have to go. I don't have to go. Yeah. No. Seriously, that like that. definitely happened on stage when you're like four songs in. And you're like, well, only have 16 songs left to go. <laughs> I thought but that's what you do while you're trying to go to the bathroom. And I was like, yeah. No, why are you psyching you yourself too. out like that? Like if I can't if I can't get there. Oh, gotcha, you know say Like gotcha. if I can't go, I would be like, I don't have to pee. 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 And it, Gabe, it I worked. would think in your in your situation, like say you would have to, like the, you're out there performing, it probably just goes away anyway, doesn't it? Because there's so many distractions. Maybe I don't know. I always try the other thing. <laughs> there you go. All right, <laughs> we'll, we'll stick with that then. Let's stick with that. <laughs> All right. Last question. Twitter, Joseph Grimm. Have you ever played a game and didn't like it only to go back because your friends and podcasters kept talking about them and giving the game such high praise? This has happened to me on Horizon Zero Dawn and Prey. Played both and didn't like them, then went back and loved them. Yeah. Austin Powers and Zoolander were two things. Great movies. Yep, great movies. Uh, but that's hated not a them game. At first, yeah. I'm trying to think. Game. Hmm. I tried that with Bioshock because everybody was like, "Dude, you kidding me? Bioshock, the num- the first one." So I had yep. played it, didn't like it. Then you got you and Tim uh, yep. would be like, "You got to play it." And so I went back and played it. Still hated it. I don't know. I, I, I don't know but if I loved found Infinite, one. which is so weird. I mean, granted, loved it's Infinite. Totally different. Totally yeah. different than Infinite. But yeah, I get it. I mean, true. Hmm. Ed, what about you? I can't think of one. I'm hoping that happens with H1 because I still do want to play it on the console. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping it happens, but it hasn't happened yet, I don't think. I mean, the way that you liked, you've kind of somewhat taken to Fortnite the one time you played it. It yeah. might be for you considering that it's, you know, simpler. It's not. Cause did you play it before on PC? Is that what you were? I did, yeah. 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 See, it's nowhere near as complicated as it. No, as sir. There you go. So. Chris? I, you know what? I can't think of a game that I played, didn't like, and then because people said, this is so good, you need to try again, that I tried it again and, and then was like really taken to it. Mm-hmm. Like, typically, yeah, if I end stubborn. up not liking a game, I pretty much know like this is not for me. Yeah. 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 I was going to say, like when I first saw Golf Story, I was like, ah, man. Mm-hmm. And then when everybody on Twitter was like, dude, play it. It's so good. Then we didn't. It was, I loved it. There have been games that I played, didn't really care for. And then because people kept saying it was so good, I tried it again, but I still didn't care for it. I, it's just not been <laughs> Yeah, reversed. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. That's right. I have tried right. again, but I've not yeah. I've been like, oh my gosh, what was I missing the first time? Yeah. Maybe I should do that with um, push through on that old Metal Gear Solid. There you go, man. I agree with that statement. I agree Ooh, with that <laughs> statement. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for me, I'm, I'm thinking Overwatch because I didn't like it and everybody wants me to play it. So I'm. The problem with me is getting the time to do it, but it's not its not going to happen. So, <laughs> so no. But we'll see. So no. But I, I want to. So honestly, I want to like it because I like Blizzard, but I'm just not liking it. <laughs> I know. So real Talk quick, real quick, like your number one hang up with the game. What is it that you don't enjoy? Is it just the respawning thing and having to run back to the point? He doesn't like multiplayer shoot, first person shooters. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. So... That's why I'm like on a. I was hoping that this weekend, if that I would stay up and mm-hmm. late enough that we could get something going. But I just kept falling asleep, and of course I'm gaming at five o'clock in the morning. Hashtag but old I man just, problems. Hashtag mm-hmm. old man problems. Exactly. But I just I don't know. Like I I now my, my first multiplayer experience was with the community for Destiny, and I loved it. It was a lot of fun. But mm-hmm. it didn't happen very often, right? Because I was, right. we're just on mm-hmm. different schedules. So I think the same thing applies here. Like, I yeah. know that if I was in with you, Ed, and with a bunch of other people, like, I would have probably a ball. But it just hasn't happened yet. So I'm hoping it does soon just to see. And that's going to be the real test if I'm really going to enjoy it. Right. We need to find you some European friends. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So when, when you're up at 5 o'clock in the morning, it's yeah, the right? afternoon for them. Exactly. That's you a can, good idea. 
play with some Russians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Swedes. Mm. Da. Yeah, get Lem's daughter to meet some people. Hey, get Lem's daughter to play. Yeah, Yeah, there you go. Put in a good word. I know this guy. (laughs) Gets up and plays really early in the U.S. You should totally play Overwatch with him. Yeah, you should totally play Overwatch with him. Everybody go? I think think that is it for all of the questions. Thank you, everybody. We had some good ones this week. Yeah, Yeah, we did. Thank Mm -hmm. you, guys. Um, The question of the week for you guys is, what is your favorite video game gimmick what do i mean by gimmick it could be from the way it's played like my answer would be there was a game i cannot remember what it's called um but there was a game back in the day where you would play it but then they would also email and text you on the side like when you were just running around in real life Hmm. um and it all like was would correlate with the game or you would have to go you know do something or whatever in real life it was like it was a I loved it. The game was terrible, and no, and, and that kind of gimmick didn't take off. Um, but it could be something from that to, you know, Guitar Hero guitars or Dance Dance Revolution pads. Hmm. What's your favorite video game gimmick that's been out there? Edward? Wow. I, um... You know, I'm just going to say, my. I guess my favorite gimmick is just the standard... Oh man, I'd love to help you out, but I need some materials. Can you go <laughs> gather them for me? <laughs> oh jeez, that's almost in every game. Yeah, I know, <laughs> definitely in every open world game. <laughs> yeah, like oh man, I know I look able-bodied, but I can't get those twigs from right over there. Mm-hmm. Why don't you fetch them? You're going to have to go all the way across the land to do a, a mission for me so that I can yeah, right. reach them. Oh, thanks Gar- for getting those twigs, but you know what? They need to be blessed by the shaman. Can you go? So I guess yeah. my favorite gimmick is how they can come up, how many ways they can come up with putting off your quest. Yeah, exactly. Yes. The gopher quest. Yes. I actually really like that, Ed. I think I'm, that's my answer, too, because that's that is 100% true. That is funny. Chris McCracken? Uh, I think my favorite video game gimmick i guess this really only applies to mobile games but i i I like and also get tired of rather quickly the uh the ar stuff like the stuff with pokemon and then they have the one this the walking dead like the zombies are really in the world and you you could shoot them or or i think that that's a cool aspect that you can have that where it's mixing real world and, and and not but at the same time like i think it wears out its welcome quick because that's all that it is it never yeah. mm-hmm. moves on past that um, now, Pokemon Go in particular, like, stuck with me longer than I expected it to, but it still, eventually, it's, it came most, well, this is just not really changing, so I kind of yeah. went over it. But yeah. I thought it's, I think it's a cool idea. I think it's cool tech. Mm-hmm. Definitely. There you go. I like that. Well, let us know what your favorite video game gimmick is. It could be something that just happens all the time in gaming. It could be peripherals that they released. It could be the way you play a game. Let us know your favorite video game gimmick and we will talk about it next week. Thank you guys so much for being here. 312 in the books. I'm your boy Gabe Patillo. That is Tim Router. That is Ed Placencia. That is Chris McCracken. And we are married to the games and we are up out this thing. Peace. One, two, three, Mark. Mark, Mark sorry. I was oh, wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs>